This video is sponsored by Serious Readers, the lighting company. Are you tired of inferior lighting when painting your models? That yellow tone and heat from light bulbs is not good, not to mention the strain that bad lighting can put on your eyes. Surely it is time to get serious about your miniature painting lighting setup. Serious Readers Lights is back with an offer this spring for their high quality range of lights built here in the UK. The high definition light that I use comes with a very useful adjustable beam and dimmer and features industry leading purple LED daylight wavelength technology that deploys specialist phosphors to replicate the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible, lighting up models such as this Eldar avatar perfectly. Additionally, the lights also operate with low energy consumption and very low heat from the bulbs, so you don't have to worry about hot bulbs prematurely drying wet paint as you work on your projects. With features such as these, you really can take your hobby lighting setup to the next level. Serious Readers lights are a solid build, made to last, as so each light comes with a five year warranty, including the bulb. Use the link in the video description below, and when making your purchase, enter the code SR302 to save £100 on a high definition light. This offer code also provides free international shipping. This spring, take your hobby lighting seriously and invest in a light from Serious Readers, the lighting company. Happy painting and enjoy the video. Alright, so welcome to this 2000 points game of Warhammer 40,000. It's Astra Militarum versus Eldar Craft Worlds. James, you have a good memory. How long has it been since we've played Eldar against Guard? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> over a year? Well, over a year, it must be. Now, if you go back to the very early days on the channel, stretching back about a decade, some of the early games that we played was Eldar against Space Marines, Eldar Revamped. against Guard. Ah! Yes, but time's moved on. The Eldar are not degrading. They're enhancing themselves here with plenty of re-sculpts. A test form, though, against the Guard. We are vastly outnumbered, uh, but we match, we make up for uh, numbers here with skill, dexterity, and finesse. So before I run through the Eldar list here, we'll mention the Patreons. So at gold level, we get names shouted out, and also Patronic dice to use at some point during the game. Silver level Patreons will call out their names at the end of the game. And you can check out the end credits for all the Patreons, including those supporting at Bronze. Uh, proceeds go to help support SSWG War Games Club, where we are at the moment, uh, filming this game, uh, and also helps to support the channel uh, as well. So if you want to help support us on Patreon, uh, then the link for that is in the video description below. So we're playing a 2,000 points game. Uh, so Arcs of Home Detachment here uh, for the Elder all fits in quite nicely. I'm going to play these as BR10, so rolls to advance and battle focus of 1 and 2 count as 3. That's, uh, just adds to the reliability of that move. And also, crucially, uh, when each unit shoots or fights, you can reroll a single hit roll uh, across the board for these units. HQ choices. It is the brand new Farseer here. So this is his first game, fresh off the painting desk. People have been asking, when are you going to get psychic support for the Eldar? Well, that time is now. They have 
a psyche to enhance them even more than they already are. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, James will have to uh, experience what it's like to see super enhanced Elder. Hopefully, uh, he'll work, do some good work here. Uh, so, Skyrunner Farseer, Doom, Fortune, and he's able to take an extra power because of the relic that he has, so I've taken Executioner as well. So three psychic powers available for him. Uh, that's the Spirit Stone of Anathlan. Uh, so you can reroll a single psychic test to that, and he gains an extra psychic power. Uh, Warlord Trait is a uh, natural leader as well. It's in the command phase. Uh, core unit within six inches is granted reroll hit rolls. So hopefully he's able to not just help out with psychic powers, but give some uh, buffs and bonuses uh, during the game as well. Then second HQ choice is an Altuck, just here. Uh, Bright Star, as he has become known as. He's got uh, the, the Glaive, the Blade here, Dragon Fusion Gun, a Banshee Mask, and he's also uh, carrying a uh, <laughs> an Altuck Jump Generator uh, for him as well. Wall of Trait is Fate's Messenger, and then Aegis of Elendish Relic being taken for him as well. Uh, so those two powers or abilities, one of them is the first failed save each turn is changed to damage zero. Uh, that's the Wall of Trait, and then for the Relic, he gains a two-up armor save, uh, minus one damage. So it's surprisingly tanky, I hope it's the idea uh, with him. Then third HQ choice, it is the Avatar of Cain, so it's the... Uh, the new re-sculpt here is almost twice the height of the previous model. I'll show it to you here. It's been painted up uh, by Siege Studios. So there he is. Looks like he means business. Mm. So uh, link for Siege in the video description below. But they've done a very, very good job of the Avatar of Kane. Hopefully he survives uh, and causes some trouble for the guard uh, here in this game. So that's him. Then for Elite's choices... Two units of Dire Avengers, two squads of 10, uh, all equipped with their Avenger Shuriken catapults. Each of the Exarch has taken an extra Avenger Shuriken catapult as well. Uh, and then this squad here has taken uh, Shredding Fire ability, uh, Exarch ability on that unit. Then squad of five Banshees, it's the new sculpts, uh, squad of five of those. Mirror Swords on the Exarch with Piercing Strikes, Exarch ability being taken. And then two Wraith Lords, both equipped the same, taking the Glaives and double Bright Lance for each of them. Then Fast Attack, it's the Shroud Runners running across here, squad of three of those. Then Wind Riders, and I'm going to continue running them with uh, Shuriken Cannons. Proved quite effective in previous uh, the previous game, so I'm going to continue with that. Uh, so six of those equipped uh, with Shuriken Cannons. Then finally, it is the Wraith Knight, equipped with the two heavy Wraith Cannons. And I've got enough points to give it uh, two Shuriken Cannons as well, uh, being granted to that model. That is the Eldar list here, vastly outnumbered by the Guard. Uh, but we'll see how well uh, they get on against the forces of the Astro uh, So then, before we go on to the list for James' Astro uh, we'll call out Phoenix Lords here. So that's the top level support on YouTube channel membership. Uh, so for Phoenix Swords, one of the perks is being allocated to units for all of our battle reports. Uh, so James has his own supporters across there. So all the Phoenix Swords, usually we split them up between the armies. So all the Phoenix Swords are over me in this game. Uh, and then usually the armies uh, have more units in. But the Elder are quite tight. So we're going to pair up some of the Phoenix Swords uh, here. So they'll share in some of the units to follow uh, during the battle. So I've, I've paired them up. Because because sharing is caring, James. Okay, so there'll be like tag team stuff going on here. So on to the Wraith Knight will be Longbow BB and Nate Miller. So they'll share. They can have one heavy Wraith cannon each. <laughs> uh, BPP Wargaming onto the Wraith Lord. Michael Fryer onto the second Wraith Lord. Uh, and then Dire Avengers share between Ed Fair and Vagabond. Squad leader is going to be Midnight Miniatures. That's one of the Autarchs. Uh, and then pointy it, paint point. Paint Lickers Paint Pot, and Daniel Cunningham onto the second unit of Dire Avengers, uh, and then Dylan Moore onto the Exarch. Uh, Chris Kamiski and Amy Almo are going to share the Farseer. Ben Shaw, who, knows, who I know who's is now... Who's going to take the jet, and who's going to take the character? Yeah, yeah, one can be the 
Exactly, yeah. Just the that. spirit lives within the stones. That is true, actually, because it's all... Yeah, okay. Ben Shaw, <laughs> who I know is an Eldar player, you can go on to the Altark here for this game. Gut B onto the small unit of Howling Banshees. Lucas Brown and Ray Cross to share the Avatar. Uh, and then Mephisto to go on to the Windriders. And then finally, it's a sniper bike each for Peter Grant, JP, and Andrea Stewart. So those three working together uh, for that sniper bike squad. Usually these are spread out across like two armies uh, here, but for this game we've condensed it down uh, so that James Cron his own supporters over on his guard list. Despite some of these Phoenix Lords being diehard Imperial players, they shall fight with the Eldar this day. So that's the list. Eldar ready to go. There's stuff that's fresh off the painting desk here. This is the first time I've run this particular combination up against the Ashram of the Tyrant. As you'll see, they're vastly outnumbered here, but Eldar can pack a mean punch. They've been doing very well on the channel recently. We'll take a look now and see what James has in his guard list. All right, so 2,000 points of Ashram of the Tyrant. James's army runs from here all the way across to here. Overwhelm them with might and steel and lasgun alike. <laughs> I got a Necron army set up over there, right? And if I combine that with my Eldar, you probably still <laughs> probably still outnumber them. We're vastly outnumbered. James has We are the eighteenth Cadian army group. We have billions of troops ready to give their lives in the service of the Emperor. What is that? That's a punisher. Oh, interesting. Okay. You've never seen a Punisher. Though. I have not for a long time. Well, it's back, brother. Ready to punish those who dare fight against the Emperor himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so James Rowing to go. Perhaps his uh, bitter memories of fights against the Emperor. Oh, Just a, a distant memory. Who do you hate more, Eldar or Tau? Oh, maybe judge at the end of the game. Once you've experienced mm. the trickery of the Eldar. We'll let James run through his Astromilla Tarum list. Right, this is 2,000 points of the Astromilla Tarum 18th Cadian Army Group. But before we go through the list, we're going to do this massive shout out to all those that are supporting me on my YouTube channel and on Patreon. So these are my Elite Plus members. That are debuting. So we have Marcus Fraze, Winston Adkins, Maxfield Knuckles, Henrik Pearson, CJ Velasco, Chris Kamiski, Scott Costello, Daniel Baker, Andrea Stewart, and a brand new Patreon, Paul David Gray. He is a, a colonel of the 110th Steel Legion. Mm -hmm. He is a loyal servant to the Emperor. Praise be the Emperor! We love allies in art. So, those are my Elite Plus members, and special thank you to all those that are supporting me on the lower tier as well. And you can watch my battle reports one week in advance with zero ads now. And it will go back to the public one week after. Okay. So that's that there. That's the perks that you'll receive for joining the army group. Let us continue. So we have... I just thought of another perk that you could do. Mm -hmm. I think this is really cool. Oh, no. People can leave it in the comments section. When it's your supporter's birthday, you send them a personalised imperial message. <laughs> you could do that, couldn't you? Sorry. So if it is your birthday, leave a comment and I'll say <laughs> happy birthday to you. With love from the Emperor. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Right, so <clears throat> let's get serious here. So we have uh, the 2,000 points list before you. It is an Arcs of Omen detachment. The main emphasis being the infantry themselves i have six infantry choices uh the doctrine that we've gone for is of course the born soldiers doctrines any wound roll of a six is an alt sorry any hit roll of a six is an automatic wound so that applies to ash militarum keyword uh, models there and then starting off we have the warlord and is in command today is the of the 501st knuckleheads maxfield knuckles is in command uh today his warlord trait is old grudges, and the relic, of course, is the relic of Lost K. I thought I'd try that out on the SS82 channel for the first time with their new codex. He is equipped with a power fist as well. He is a colonel. So this is that, that is legit uh, insignia there. And then we have a regimental banner. Uh -huh. There. He holds the banner of K. This is a pre-fall of Kadia army. 
It's not the new Astra with the tired models. I still love the old models. And then we have a, uh, a Voxcaster and operating the Voxcaster is George Wetter. And then we have a Medic and then we have a Melter Gun in that command squad there. And I thought I'd try them out. I'll bring them out once again. The Faithful Kassarkins. That's not a Kassarkin, that's a bodyguard. No, I'm just wondering how you've done the uh, the metal glow burn effect on the end of your barrel. Well, it's a big thank you to Duncan Rhodes. If you follow his tutorial, I'll tell you exactly oh, right. how he does it. He's a very That's very copied him, is it? It's copied his style. The old Games Workshop uh, painting tutorial on how to do it. It's very, very, very easy to do. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you just comb it's a combination of washes. It gives it that... Uh, effect yeah, so, uh, nice. so we have the Kassarkins I'm going to try these out these are the pre-fall of Cadian Kassarkins that is your model that you painted Luke yeah yeah yes a lot of people may not know but originally it was me that started collecting the Astra yes, but then I saw the heresy of guardsmen turning to Tau I thought I must rescue the Tau <laughs> that's uh, the, not... the, 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 uh, the uh, sorry glitch there in my in my thinking uh, save as many of the humans as possible and rejoin the armor group. No, that's not what happened. What happened was I started collecting Ash for a time and then I dumped them no. and switched to the Tau. You cut off the las guns and put pulse rifles on there. <laughs> so to start again. <laughs> so, uh, yes, those are the old Kassarkin Stormtroopers. So the Kassarkin Stormtrooper is commanded by... I think it's Winston Atkins that's in command of the Kassarkins. So he's in command of the entire squad. And then Phil Marshall, he has got the grenade launcher. But with Kassarkins now, you can have four special I weapons. I think you spelled his name wrong. No, that's how you spell it. He Is did, it? That's how you spell it. Yes, that's his name. Oh. As well. So you can have four special weapons in a Kassarkins squad, which is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're equipped with hell guns, which is also known as hotshot las guns. So they're basically a strength for las guns, AP minus two, range 24 now, thankfully, which is really, really good. Okay. So that's the unit of Kassarkins. Uh They are the special ops of the regiment. And then I've got, uh, I've divided them into, so these are guardsmen first class. These are guardsmen second class, which will have the Cadian keyword. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're true regulars. These will be true veterans there. And then, uh, so in command here, uh, we have Peter Nastro, Sergeant Peter Nastro. And we have a Voxcaster. And then we have all of these are equipped with two melter guns each. But this uh, here is Devin Matthews. And then we have uh, Matthew Tucker with the melters here. And the rest are anonymous guardsmen with las guns. And then Cadian Sergeant Steel, Shay Strait, is in command of this squad. And then we have Anthony Leach. And then we have a brand new uh, YouTube member that has just joined, Matthew Wreck. Wreck? Yep. God. Ready to wreck havoc against the enemies of the Emperor. What's he got? Ura. Just a humble las gun. Oh. He's just joined. <laughs> oh, right. So, he gets so then he gradually gun. gets promoted uh, <laughs> for his loyalty. A las gun and a bayonet. And at the back here, we have another YouTube member, Home Nathalian, Nathanian, which is uh, quite an unusual YouTube name. Uh, let you try and pronounce that, brother. Home? Yes. Nalanathan? Nalanathan. Well, there you go. Sure, I've never heard of Well, there you go. Well, thank you for joining, uh, comrades. <laughs> Welcome to the army group, I suppose. So uh, that's that squad there. And then over here, we have an anonymous sergeant. Mm -hmm. But then over here, uh, we have Mr. Exhaust. Oh, he's back. He's back. We've off got a melter plasma. gun there. He's off the gun. plasma. Right. Uh, we have Patrick Darling. Mm -hmm. So he's a specialist guardsman now. And then we have anonymous uh, Cadian shock troopers there. Chris Kamiski is in command of the heavy weapons squad of missile launchers. They performed quite well in the last battle report on my channel. Oh, okay. And then over here we have Marshall Cummings is in command of this heavy weapons squad mm -hmm. there. Over here we have uh, Sergeant Tyler Gristle. These are infantry squads. So they have the infantry squad keyword so they'll get volley fire strategy uh -huh. um then we have this tyler grizzle 
Thank you very much for your support. And then over here, he's just in command of that squad. There's no other patrons. And then over here, we have Sergeant Donald Hammer. And then we have Jonathan Rays with the Flamer. And then Harrison Leach is over here. He had a Guardsman of third class over there. And then over here, we have Sergeant Raycross. And then we have Ryan Woolley, uh, who's in command of the Flamer today. So that's the infantry there. Over here, we have the uh, humans, we have the uh, Ogrins, three of them. And then we have Scout Sentinels, all equipped with multi-lasers. They are in a squadron. And then over here, we have the um, Patreon that's debuting on this channel for the first time. Paul David Gray, welcome to the Army Group. You'll take command of the squadron of armoured sentinels equipped with plasma cannons. Oh, yes. interesting. And they will have the platoon keyword, so they will have the ability to take aim. So right. you can hit you on threes with a further AP minus one, which makes them AP minus four. Oh, mm. okay. Over here we have uh, the Commissar, anonymous Commissar there. Uh, just as the classic old model there. I've collected all the Commissars, I think. So uh, wow. to fill in the gaps mm -hmm. for the pre-fall army. And I've also collected the uh, regimental priests as well. So that's the regimental priest. If he performs terribly, he's going to be replaced. Right, okay. Last time it did not work. His prayers were not answered. So then over here, we have the armoured support. So we've got three demolisher uh, cannons here. So these are in a squadron. Uh -huh. and just to clarify that so um, the good thing about them is they can split up 12 inches which is quite nice uh, we have Marcus Fraze is in command of the plasma sponsor and uh, a demolisher cannon and then we have a whole mounted LAS cannon and sponsor and plasma cannons over here we have Scott Castello who's in command of this tank here with sponsor and heavy bolters and then we have Henrik Pearson also known as the little tank <laughs> That's his nickname, and he's equipped with the multi melters oh, on there as well. Uh, they do have armored tracks as well on all three of them, so they'll get an extra. Actually, they don't have armored tracks, I don't believe. I'll check on the original stat. Okay. Um, over here, we have Andreas Stewart, who's in command of the armored uh, detachment today. He is a tank commander, equipped with a sponsor and heavy bolters, las cannon, and the Punisher Gatling cannon. He doesn't have any tank cases, so he's just a uh, quite green commander uh, there. And then over here we have Daniel Baker uh, with the Hellhound equipped with a hull mounted heavy flamer and the Inferno cannon. And that works out at 2,000 points, brother. And Cadia stands before the Emperor. Oorah. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oorah! For the Emperor! Ooh. Oh, boy. Brimming with confidence as per usual, but as the numbers begin to dwindle, doubt and despair, no doubt, will settle in to this guard force as the Eldar... Be gone! <laughs> okay. We hear nothing! We'll go back, we'll go back round to my side of the board. Uh, if you want to support James uh, on Patreon, YouTube channel membership, links for that I think is in this video, and you can head over to his channel. Uh, details will be over there as well. And you can check out the battle reports James has available and on his channel. If you want more guard, more ultramarines, and, and the various armies that James takes on in his challenge games, then you can check out his channel. So, uh, we will take a look at scenario and deployment next. All right, so we have a scenario. It's the first mission. It's been randomly determined from the Ark of Omen Grand Tournament Strike Force size games. So it's recover the relics. So I gonna... can't believe it. That's the mission that we played last time as well. <laughs> on when? my channel. On your channel. Oh, James has played this recently. Well, then here you'll... we go again. He'll be... Yes, here we go again. James will be well experienced with this one. So fighting from end to end. It's going to suit both of us in a way. Eldar can move quick. James has... has... Tanks. Uh, tanks. Lots of tanks. And he'll appreciate the distance between the armies. I think it works okay for both armies. But we'll talk about terrain in a moment. There's a number of pieces of obscuring terrain on the board. Uh, so for this battle, as uh, marked by the red dice, is the deployment zones. James has elected to go at this end of the board. Ashmore Tower will set up across here. 
uh, the craft world order will deploy across here. Six objectives on the board, four in no man's land and one in each of the deployment zones. James's objective tucks nicely behind the terrain just over there. Eldar uh, home objective is out in the open over there and then in a box sort of shape there's four more objectives in no man's land. Uh, two just outside of James's deployment zone and then two for the Eldar one here. And then one just tucked around the corner. It's just tucked in at the front door. James will point to it. There we are. Thank you, James, with his pointy finger there for that objective. So uh, that's the six objectives on the table. The control of one or more objective markers turn to onwards in the command phase is worth four points. If you control two or more, it's worth another four points. And if you control uh, more than the opponent, it's worth another four points on top of that. Uh, and then in every battle round, it is kill points up to a maximum of three per turn. So kill stuff and be rewarded. So whilst we're looking at the board, I mentioned terrain. Uh, so we're going to play uh, these rocky outcrops as like Munitor and Armour containers. So infantry can shelter behind, exposed position on top. Because of the height of this one, we're going to play it as obscuring terrain. The same for this piece across here. It's the same for this larger stack of containers is obscuring uh, and then these buildings across here the old fight what's that called the old firebase the cardboard one from games workshop wasn't it from years yeah, ago it was designed to it's a landing pad for land speeders okay and then the bastion remember mm. years ago these are cardboard and then i reinforced them a little bit uh, but that is the uh, one of the old early sets mm. of terrain available for games <coughs> workshop running those two are going to run both as obscuring terrain these will count as buildings i reckon so you can shelter and uh, make use of those. A couple of craters dotted around the board, a few clumps of woods, a few barricades, uh, and that's pretty much it for terrain. But there is some lumps of obscuring terrain uh, on the board to add some protection uh, if units take advantage of that. So that's the terrain. So next, each of us will choose three secondaries each. All right, so we have secondaries chosen. Uh, James has gone for boots on the ground, which is unique for the Ashmilla Tarum. You get a regimental standard, which has the model, in six inches of the centre of the board, pick up a command point each turn. Uh, and also having platoon infantry units in table quarters is a point per table quarter unless they're within three inches of the centre of the board. So just occupying, getting infantry into the table quarters to pick up points for that. Uh, then James has gone for raise the banners as well. So James's deployment zone is one he can raise straight away and then just push out a little bit and raise a couple more. Uh, there's points being picked up for that each turn, and then at the end of the game you can pick up points as well if they're still raised. And then Assassination. James has put a price on the head of my characters, which will be Bright Star, uh, the Exarch of uh, Altarch, uh, the, the new Phoenix Lord, uh, sorry, the new, the new Farseer, uh, freshly painted up, and also the Avatar of Cain. James has put a, a oh. bounty on his head as well. As, and then, that's it, that's James's three. Elder have gone four, no prisoners. Quite fitting. James has so many infantry, I think we could pick up points for that. Uh, and then we've gone for behind enemy lines. It'll take a while, got to grind James down and try and push into his deployment zone later on uh, in the game. Uh, and then bring it down. So the destruction of vehicles. James has plenty of uh, limb rushes on the board. Uh, and then a point available for each of the sentinels being destroyed as well. So I reckon uh, we'll just basically get points for trying to kill stuff we're going to try and kill anyway so I think that's a good way to work uh, here with the elder so the plan is to pit james's force that he has against the elder to play one game uh, and then on channel membership to pit them against the necrons so that's the plan elder first then necrons it's a double xenos Sorry. dose dose for james <laughs> here against the for the time we've played xenos. we've played 20 of uh uh, sorry, we've played plenty of Tyranny games and Tau games, but there's two factions that James Xenos that James hasn't played for ages on the channel and that goes all the way back to the very early days, and that is Necrons, and especially the Elder. It's been could be literally years since we've played against each other. So it's a good old friendship and reunion here. The classic Friendship. Wait, what? The classic I've never heard of that word, the old art. The classic Xenos army is here to take on the guards. It's back to the good old days. As we say yeah. goodbye to Night Tradition, uh, we'll play some of the old combinations here. Just for good old times' there sake, was, won't we, James? That was a, the, the most funniest reaction I ever had when playing you. This was years and years ago. Mm -hmm. Where I, 
I, I wound you up so much. I think it was a dangerous terrain test in back in fifth edition. And it was the old balls for vehicles going in terrain. Got Get stuck. Them over lights. You wanted to reach the objective. And you rolled a one. Cracked me up. You threw the dice on the table. Yeah. And I thought Tom was salty. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was the uh, the one Those time. Were the days. That was the days when I, I rolled a one. I remember, I remember that. that, yes. That was about yeah. five, six, seven years ago I rolled a one. James remembers no, that no, time. No, no, no. Longer than that. God, I'm talking years. about 20, 20, 2009, 2008. Oh, even. It's been that long since I've, rolled, since I've rolled a one. It's been eight, nine years. Yeah, those are the days though, James. Okay, so <laughs> we'll go on to deployment now. We'll start alternating and placing units on the board next. All right, just to mention the battle mat and terrain I'm using in this game. So battle mat is from gamemat.eu. Six by four is size. This one, I'll just mark the edge uh, here for regular games of 9th edition 40k, uh, just for the woodland over there. But you can get this one in the 44 by 60. That uh, so is available. It's called Lost World for this battle mat here. Uh, rolls out nice and flat. Uh, it's figure friendly, nice and quiet on dice rolling as well. Uh, that's the best one, so it's a great foundation for your terrain. Uh, and then using, uh, there's a mixture of terrain here, but also using their uh, pre-painted terrain set here. Uh, it's the grassy rock set. So it's this, uh, these structures across here, these rocky outcrops, these two large ones. Uh, there's a number of them uh, scattered around the board. So you can check out gamemat.eu for your supplies of better mats in all shapes and sizes. They also do pre-painted terrain sets available from them. Link for them in the video description below. And there's also a discount code that you can use as well. All right, so we're on deployment. I've finished, James. <laughs> Still has nearly half an army to put out here. So we'll cover the Eldar deployment at this stage. So trying to make use of terrain here. Uh, James will gladly fire everything he has at this Eldar force. It could evaporate quite quickly. So we're going to try and make use of terrain as much as we can. But at the same time, I can't hide at the back here with the Eldar are going to have to push forwards. So trying to get that balance as much as possible. Shroud runners here at the back, right at the very back. The edge of the board is running across here at the edge of these trees. Uh, wind riders across here, the six of those, they're sheltering the Farseer who's tucked up next to them. Been joined by Ray Lord on this left-hand side. Avatar of Cain is here. Now bear in mind this is obscuring terrain. So he is partially protected by some of the terrain. Although James will be able to get some crossfire uh, lined up against him. Some units just kind of have to be, be bullet magnets here in this game. As Avatar uh, is attempting target, he's there in the middle of the board. There's a Wraith Lord to his right. And then making use of the terrain is the Banshees. Bright Star, the Autark. And then in front of him is a unit of Dire Avengers. And you can see the Wraith Knight sheltering here. Now it is over 18 wounds. It's not going to be obscured by any of the terrain. Uh, but I've tried to keep it back. Uh, um, maybe physically obscured, like you can't actually see it, perhaps through some of the terrain of the Bastion. Maintain a, nice, a nice big building there to block line of sight. Feel no pain, my comrades. James talks to his models as he deploys, which I'm sure... Anyone disobey orders will be shot for his action. Do not nick my Cadian coin. Filth. Anyway, oh. then for the Elder, ah. I've paid a CP to put one unit of Dire Avengers into reserve to act as an ambush. Ambush against James's... Ambush in place. Astro time. Reserve. All right, whilst I've been talking uh, and chanting here, James has virtually finished his deployment. So I can call these out here. Astartes. They're not, you're not playing Astartes, James. You're playing guard. Yeah. He's in imperial mode here, <laughs> as per usual. Yeah. Okay. I love it! Very optimistic, James. Give me the glory. So, guard squad here taking shelter. Cadian shock trooper squad across here. Uh, heavy bolters directed by Cummings. Uh, then this is Marcus Fraser's Demolisher, one of the plasma cannons. Uh, the commander here, Andreas Stewart, is sheltering here at the back. On his left is Scott Castello. Then around the other side of the board, Ogrins here, shock troopers behind them, regular guard squad just in front of them. James's command here in amongst the rocks, various characters, including the commissar, priest here at the back, another guard squad here, shock troopers here. 
missile launcher team up here and us commanding view across the board. Heavy armoured sentinels on the left armored hand sentinels. side. Yeah. And scout center. Are you sure they can do that? They can mm -hmm. deploy that far forwards? Yeah. It says here, oh. during the re uh, daring recon, during deployment, when you, are, when, when you set up this unit, it can be set up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from enemy deployment zone oh, and any enemy models. That'll do. And we're looking for the Kasakins. Kasakins are coming from reserve. Deep tracking? Nope. And I do get an additional oh, doctrine. Oh, like turn up here on the flank. I'm going to choose, I forgot to mention this, but they do get an additional doctrine. Yes. So I'll choose off camera. I've got to make the decision on that one. Okay. Uh, and then the Hellhound? Reserve. Oh, like turning up on the flank? Yes. It's more effective that way. Otherwise, yep. just shot from a distance. Okay. Right. So there's the Kasakins get it. The extra. Yeah, they get an additional doctrine. Right. Just there. Same as going for elite sharpshooters, so they get a re uh, an extra hit roll. Okay, just to make them a little bit more reliable. Okay, so that's deployment dump. This is the view here across the board. Eldarth lined up here and ready to go. We'll roll to see who goes first. I think this is going to be an important roll. Oh, he's rolling up straight away. What's that symbol mean? Six! Six. Ugh. We'll call upon an Eldar Patreon. Jordan Russell. We've got a few Eldar Patreon helpers. We need to equal James's role, though. Oh, no. So what does this mean? You're going first. Well, what are you waiting for, boys? Let's get stuck in. Okay. Kill those pony eared princelings. Turn one coming up next. It will go to the guard.
orders? I think, in all honesty, the Necrons would probably cope better with you going first. Eldar, this is perhaps the most dangerous point in the game <laughs> for them. Because <laughs> we've tried to poise ourselves partly hidden, partly ready to go for the attack. Just trying to strike a balance between the two. I certainly do have units that are exposed. Some are hidden quite well. So it's all a case of where James decides to, or who James decides to fire at here and what kind of fields of fire he can get lined up. Uh, but a, a really good shooting phase here on turn one from the Ashmore time will cause trouble for the Eldar for sure. It'll be an uphill struggle for, for them if they do take an early battering here. Or if James fails and the Eldar can pounce. And teach the guard lesson. The Seldar force can pack a mean punch, but if our numbers are depleted, uh, there will be trouble for sure. So, be interested to see what James decides to fire at and how effective that firepower will be. But let him make his uh, initial moves here at this stage with the guard. All right, so James has completed his command phase here. Orders being barked out and bellowed across the battlefield. So, who's done what? So, the Commissar has issued an order forwards for the Emperor, so they will get to. Uh, advance and then shoot like normal. Mm -hmm. The off the regimental officer has issued the sentinels take aim because they have the platoon keyword of within six inches. And then uh, the tank commander here has issued an order to this lean roster marsha full throttle. Okay, so that means I can choose to go an extra two inches to my advance. You just imagine it, just as, as the early morning mists begin to clear, mm -hmm. the sound of orders being barked out across the battlefield and engines beginning to rev as the guard take the initiative and begin rolling forwards. That's the kind of beginnings we have here of this mm -hmm. great encounter. What an adventure. Right, press on, James, make your move. Right, looks like James is going after the Eldar here. He's not going to hold back. Uh, let the Eldar dance around here. He's just going to go straight for them. Starting to peel around the edges of this terrain. Try and flush the Eldar out from their, their, their position, especially across here, and try and kick them out of uh, across there for sure. Strands of fate, by the way. So uh, with the farce here on the board, I think it is we get to reroll one of the dice to try and get something else. Dice that have been retained. We've got a save and throw here. I wish I'd rolled a, a, another six, but I've got one at least uh, to try and block something coming through. And then hit rolls and wound rolls just to try and make sure help us as we try and kick back anticipating that we might take some damage maybe on the reef night uh, so trying to uh, help with hitting and wounding uh, with that model so or others we'll see how it goes but uh, mm -hmm. just trying to make our response reliable as well as strands of feet all right james says his moves nearly done oh dear God. Just I've had to listen to this the whole time. Humming, chanting. <laughs> Look, James, Elder. It's good, it's a wreck. Bit of club terrain here, just a bit they've sculpted up. Brilliant little asset to add oh, onto the ball. Favourite piece. Is it? Oh, look at it. <laughs> so this squad's moves round and has raised the banner across here. Uh, the rush has then pushed through. Demolish rush has pushed through to here normal move. The Emperor has heard our prayers! This squad's pushed through up against the containers for cover. Uh, the command tanks pushed through, and then the heavy bolters are shifted across to raise the banner uh, across there. James wanted to push the other infantry units forwards. So he's used those to raise the banner uh, just on, home, on the home objective, which is just tucked underneath uh, this tank. And as you can see around the other side, plenty of movement. James is really surging around uh, on the left to go after the Eldar positioned across here. So big sweep around the left-hand side with the Sentinels, Scout Sentinels in front. Uh, their scatter, scatter lasers will be dangerous enough. Multi-lasers. We're not Sorry, yeah, we, <laughs> we've got scatter lasers. Their multi-lasers uh, here will be effective enough against the Eldar Infantry. Uh, and then the Armoured Sentinels pushing up behind. Infantry squad here. Here, this is regular Guardsmen. Uh, Ogren's bolstering the line here. Command parties push forwards. Uh, it's the Command Squad that raised the banner uh, there in the middle. Uh, and then you can see one of the shock trooper squads has pushed forward. Forward! Yeah. James is just advancing with the Twelve. next. And forwards they go. <laughs> Brimming with confidence. They really are just going after the Elder here. It's no nonsense. An age no old... No pity. No mercy. An age old Elamol. James. Die! 
I have to kill him. I need to silence this <laughs> gloating, boasting mood that James is in <laughs> at the moment. We'll see if we can bring it down to uh, a more sensible level here. But the Eldar are the same. We're an arrogant race as well. So there's uh, much pride at stake here for both sides. Look full fluff on that one. <laughs> Okay, let's move though, James. Shift it out a little bit. That's nothing I can do. Yeah, really. one across the other side, let's move around. It's a bit of a traffic jam going on here as multiple units push forwards. That's movement done. Uh, but James has reached the halfway point with the scout sentinels. The relic has not been activated. Halfway's there. So other units have surged forwards well enough. Arcs of fire lined up. Eldar units partially obscured. James certainly has line of sight to plenty though. We'll go on to. No psychers. Oh, okay. I have a psycho. We'll go on to shooting phase. For the guard next. Eldar will have to brace themselves. What's about to be unleashed. Right, James is going to fire the plasma sentinels. Not into the Wraith Knight. He's going to shoot at the Dire Avengers, would you believe? Um, three at a time, because it's more than five models. Three's to hit here because of take aim. Yep. Oh, Not supercharging. I just... Um, Are you worried? Yeah, I just... Gonna have to take it, I'm afraid. Go ahead. Oh no. Uh, two hits so far. Actually, I may have rolled them at the same time. Doesn't matter. He's not supercharging. I'm yet. not supercharging. Uh, four hits and last one. Uh, six hits in total. Two's to wound. Two's to wound. Okay. All but one. AP minus Five. four. Okay, half the squad wounded. I most certainly and absolutely. We'll be calling on Patronic help. As uh, I'm going to go to Bjork Dazog Punch here, just to kick off. Oh, he's my patron. Ah, ah, ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Xenos dice. Uh, we'll go for uh, five plus invulnerable saves here. Slightly above average. <laughs> okay, sorry. So two slain. Xenos ties to the rescue. All right, but two casualties taken. That's going to whittle that down squad a little bit. But oh, it could have been so much worse. Okay, so James says the best is yet to come. Multi lasers into the Dire Avengers. That's 12 shots. Ew. Okay. This is on fours. James has a line of sight just about. I'll just come around here to check, but he's he's got it okay. There's the Dire Avengers and... That's the scout sentinels. Oh, come on. They've rounded the corner well enough. And by the sounds of it, James is... Three wounds. AP just minus one. three. AP minus one. We'll take cover now, so we'll take uh, saves of four plus. <laughs> oh, it's going to be... Plasma can't do the multi days it can do better. Oh, it's going to be one of those games. All right, that squad's been halved in strength now. Dire Avengers dropping. Casualties will hurt the Eldar here. Precious Dire Avengers. Lance Cannon! So I'm going to mark this up as five casualties. There's going to be morale issues for them. Lance Cannon, what? You can't hide. Oh, you're out of range of everything else? Yes. One Lance Cannon shot against the Wraith, the Wraith Knight. Go ahead. Patronic. Yeah. Patronic. Patronic. Yes, has to. Look at all these cards. This, this is ninth edition. Look at this stupid amount of cards. Marcus Frez. It James, is. what's your 10th uh, um, edition's coming? What do you think? Oh, man. Looking forward to it? Yes. Oh, yes. I love it. He loves it already. It's already he hasn't played it yet. Ever. Oh, I'm looking forward the to it. The amount of fixes they've done, it it's, looks really good. Yeah, this this could be an edition where Games Workshop have... have... But there's just one thing I wish Games Workshop would do. Please, please make flyers good again. As in, like... Harder to Not, hit. Yes, harder to hit. Right. Please make them sit. Just don't, we don't see flyers in our games. And, no, I mm, love flyers. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, for 10th edition, hopefully it's an edition where Games Workshop have listened to, to the community I mean, and the general auto grievances. Flyers and grenades homing in on supersonic flyers. Doesn't make sense. I've never seen homing grenades in the narrative before. Oh. But it's fantasy, it can get away with everything. Yes. Oh, I forgot to do the auto wound, but that's a tactical error on my part, so I'm going to remember that for next time. Okay. So uh, this is the last cannon. 
Yes. An Astra Militarum symbol is glorious. And here's the Patronic. <laughs> Marcus Price, a Bronze Star member, and he's auto wounded. The Wraith Knight. <clears throat> do you have it in fun? I do, I do, I do. I've got five plus. Yeah. Um. I will. God. Boy, oh boy. I'll, I'll, I'll use it up now. I'll answer your auto wound with an auto save. Oh. What would the damage have been? D6. Five damage. Oh, it would have been five minus one. Whoa, four wounds would have come through. Blocked straight away. Okay, but that's burnt up that saving throw. Missile launchers. Into the avatar. Can they? Yeah. Of course they can. Oh, that's you not can see him. Blocking. And that's range 48. It's dead on range 48, mate. We've done our calculations. Us guards, but are very, very efficient at our job. That is four foot. Oh, I thought they would never target. Go ahead. Crack! James obviously selecting the missile mm. type. Pause! <laughs> Auto wound, a hit. Toughness. Seven. Two Eight. wounds. Oh, AP minus two. Two wounds. Yeah, four and six. Yeah. I could be tough to say, but I think James is wounded on four anyway, so I've, I've, he's probably okay. I've done it. We are tough to say. They made him tougher. What? <laughs> Built like a tank. So AP minus two. Two. Two up. Four up to try and block here. Either in one save or um, normal arm save. I'm going to call for it. I'm getting really annoyed, so I'm going to go early, quite early actually, to the Raycross dice. La lava body. <laughs> Four pluses. Blocked one. One's gone through. And I'll command reroll now. Jeez, man. Come on, Raycross. Go! Oh! Thank you, Ray. CP spent. I didn't gain one actually at the start of the turn, so yes. I'll bring that one back. D6. I know your avatar can withstand quite a lot of damage, but let's see what we get. We get a three. Three. Becomes a two, because it's halved, rounded Half up. Round up. Yeah, it's two inches taken, dropping down to 12. Mike. Don't like the avatar being shot at, but there's not too much I can I do. do about it. Oh, <laughs> God. Six. Uh, heavy bolters. I'm uh, gonna fire at the Rafe Lord. Mm -hmm. So I have no line of sight to the infantry, I don't believe. No. So it's only the Rafe. Because it's gonna be damage one. This is James damage. and his element here lining up shots at long range. This is Six shots. how he likes to play the game. And then the last cannon's gonna go into. Yeah, so over 18 wounds, I can't be obscured by anything, so as long as James can see you know and is in range, he can shoot. Concentrate all firepower into him. Into the Wraith Lord? Yeah, he is obscured behind the terrain. Oh, okay, so you'll get a free up save. No, 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 he cannot be shot at. Oh, okay, so I'll shoot at thing now. Yeah, just take a line of sight. James can see, so it's not a problem. He can shoot at the Wraith Lord. So, firepower's been declared. This is a heavy bolter. Also wound. And four hits. Fives. Fives to wound. Two one. wounds. Two at minus one. Yep. Uh, two four ups. No and no. Uh, one damage because it's minus one damage. Yep, two wounds taken. Cannon. Seven wounds left. Last cannon to the same target. It won't kill him, but it... Oh, no, so wound! wound is Glory. Minus three. Minus three. Oh. Help. Tyranid Chitten. Carl Roden. Tyranid Chitten. <laughs> Get a six. D6. Go ahead. I will call upon my Patreon to do the damage. Scott Castell, a Bronze Star member of the Army Group. Go ahead. D6 minus one. Oh, two minus one is one. Well, come on, reroll. Come on, reroll. Takes me down to four. Three. Three minus two. 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 Dropping down to five. Rayful taking damage is still alive, but damage is certainly coming through. Okay. 
both sides using Patreons to just lock horns with each other here. It's the rutting season on the channel. It's war. Next. Next. Concentrate all firepower at the Avatar with the Demolisher Cannon. If I survive this, I will destroy his yeah, I'm sure you will. <laughs> um... <laughs> Right, I'm going to... Sorry, folks, but this is just an age-old <laughs> battle that's been going on for an age. For over a decade now, we've been fighting against each other. Yep, next. And to add insult to injury, ingrained precision for a CP. What was that? How many CPs you got? I've got three left. And... Instead of sixes, it'll be fives to auto, auto wound. wound up, please. <laughs> In your face, freak. <laughs> right, plasma supercharging. If you haven't already, please remove headphones if you're using them. Right, so who's you're shouting out all this stuff? Who's doing what? That demolisher cannon. Everything Laz Cannon and Sponson supercharging into the avatar of Kane. Oh, joking me. Go. Right. 2d3. Four shots. Yep. Hitting on fours. <sighs> ah! Three mortal wounds. Oh, you just max at one, didn't you? Max at one. Right, okay. It's more but uh, one auto wound, though. Auto wound, yep. Yeah. Uh, four plus one will save, right? Yes. All right, I'm going to commit the, all the avatar saves from this to you. One Patreon. I need to find an Eldar player here. Uh, Scott Costello, would you believe? He plays Eldar and he's all the way player, so that'll do. Four plus. Come on. Oh, yo. Oh. What is that? Two damage, minus one. Halved, oh, yeah. Okay, wound taken. Drop it down to 11. Avatar's taking the damage. It's taking the damage. I had to have some bullet magnets, some absorption units on the board. Wraith Knight, Avatar of Kane, they're the ones that are going to take the brunt of the firepower here. There's not too much they can do to escape. I could have put, tried and put the Avatar at the back here. Then what's he going to do? Just going to hang around. I've got to try and play him up the board to some degree. I tried to mask him a little bit with the terrain to try and reduce the amount of crossfire that could come in. But James is going after him. He's not going after this stuff. So that's the kind of the trade-off that we've got going here. Uh, last kind of shot next. Single D6. He's going to commit this firepower to somebody. Come on. There Henrik was... Pearson, Bronze Star member. Go. Four to hit. Fives to auto wound. Four is a hit. Last kind of three to wound. Three to wound, strip nine. That is eight. That is a wound. He's got it. Eight minus minus three. We'll stick with Scott Costello. Ah, oh, number two. <laughs> oh. ah. Ouch. D6 damage. Yeah. Two damage. Three becomes two. All right, dropping down to nine wounds left on the avatar. Getting a little bit scared now. I love this quote from Dawn of War 2. Engage demolish a gun. Go ahead. Oh, D6 no. shots. This could kill me. Thank you, Henrik, but I must call upon another Patreon. Look at it. CJ Velasco. Just a bronze star round, member. Rounds, it rounds the corner. An avatar of Kane sighted. Demolish a cannon. Optimum range. About to unleash a salvo. This is number of shots. Number of shots. Oh, this is a big roll. This is CJ Velasco. <clears throat> bronze star member of the army group. Five shots. Oh. Praise the emperor. God. Remember, brother. Fives are auto-wounding. <laughs> Glory! All of them are All of auto them. wounded! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Scott Costello, I need a miracle, absolute miracle here to try and block these. I've got no command rerolls, I've got no auto saves, it's down to pure dice rolling. Oh, I could have been worse. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. Two have made it through. Well, well, well. Okay. So... I need box cars. Yeah, and you'll still not kill me actually, because it's half damage. Uh, yeah. 
the maximum damage you can score is six from that. Because you're halving it. If you scored two sixes, it would be two threes. Oh, okay. Well, we'll finish you off anyway. What will kill a mere mortal is just halved here against the avatar. It's three player. plus d3 damage each. All oh, right, so it's quite reliable. Right, I thought it was d6. Go ahead. So oh, and he's maxed out. That's insane. Two fives. That dice rolling is crazy over at that side of the board. Uh, so I will take six damage. I'm down to three wounds left on the avatar. It's a noble thing he's done. He's absorbed like a hero, taking the bullets here for the rest of his Eldar kin. Uh, it's heroic, uh, but it will be a tragic loss to see him go. Three wounds left. He teeters on the brink of destruction. Three wounds. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, I've got las guns to do. Okay, last guns, yep. You can do some. Well, they've done their action. And they have got a couple of melter guns. There no, could no. be a las gun shot. We'll check. It might be a couple of shots, but there's not too much. So nothing available from these. We're now going to switch to this rust across here. One las cannon, two heavy bolters into the Wraith Lord. Heavy bolters. Michael Fry and BPP Wargaming commanded this one. It's been quite quiet over here. One We've been sheltered. Wounds. Sheltered this chunk. It's not been touched yet. No wounds. One auto wound, AP minus one. That's a heavy bolter. Yeah. Uh, so looking for a four plus. Come on, try and block some. <laughs> so that's a wound taken, right? So we drop down uh, to eight wounds left. It's minus one damage. Fire! This is the last cannon shot. Four is a hit. Yep. Five is a wound. We'll try and block this one, and I'll use a Patreon. Uh, Michael Fry can try and protect Michael Fry. It's the Michael Fry model with the Michael Fry dice. Get a four plus. Ah, yes, blocked. I, I should do that. Use patrons to use patronic damage. gold levels to protect Phoenix Lord. That works. Would have been four damage. Okay, Ray Floyd's in good shape. One win, no problems. Harry Bolters have doing an action. Can't shoot. That's it. That's it. What across the board? It's across the board. Oh man, five leave. Oh no. They are in range. Oh, fine. Go ahead. As guns to me! Folly Fire present! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead. Two auto wounds. Two auto wounds. I'll try and save those on Teops. No problem. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wound taken. And that's it. That's it. And Six is to wound with the rest, isn't it? That's, I failed. All oh, right, okay. Um, they are out of range. These guys, they can't see the avatar because it's line of sight. Okay. Oh, that's not line of sight blocking. That is. Oh, that is line of sight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you're out of range anyway. I think we're done, brother. Okay. So damage report: Dire Avengers halved Ooh. in strength. Sorry. Oh. I can see a banshee. <laughs> okay. Yes. Two shots. Go ahead, shoot a banshee. Well. <laughs> wounded. Free rolling ones because of the regimental banner. Uh, that's it. Free up. Ah, oh, come on! What a shot! Who was that? Who was that? Unnamed. An unnamed. Right, okay. Right, okay, so damage report. <laughs> One Banshee lost. Five Dire Avengers. <laughs> Avatar and just two wins left, but crucially, still alive. Uh, Wraith Knight on four wounds. Pretty much, yeah, I think so. Okay, and then a wound taken on here. Yeah, there's no damage against the Wraith Knight. Okay. So I, I would say there's hope here. Eldar, it has been scary. Uh, but the the avatar's still alive because of his rules. If it wasn't the half damage, I think he'd be dead. He'd be gone. Uh, that Wraith Lord would have been in serious trouble as well across it. But he remains with five wounds left. That's quite healthy for him. He'll operate at full uh, effect here. So not too bad from the Eldar. Uh, partially the distraction of other units have preserved our softer stuff. Also our positioning with some of the models. James doesn't have artillery mortars and so on uh, to flush out some of these units. The Eldar can respond. Uh, much of their numbers are intact at this stage, so encouraging signs for them. Uh, but James has got his wish here. He's had a, an early turn 
of firepower here against the Eldar. But now uh, <clears throat> we'll finish off the turn, calculate points, bit of morale, uh, and then we'll switch over to the Eldar to see how they respond against this guard aggression. All right, so the situation, Dire Avengers, they're order one for the morale. They're up for the fight despite their casualties. Uh, and then two points of boots on the ground. We reckon James gets it on turn one. So this table quarter and that table quarter with platoon infantry units in it. Uh, so a point for each table quarter. Two points to zero at this stage. We'll move on. We'll go on to Eldar turn one. We'll see how they respond. I think aggression must be met with aggression. Turn one for the Eldar next. All right, so turn one for the Eldar. Moves, a move's been made. We're going to try and meet the guard on both flanks, sort of abandon the middle to some degree. Uh, so Shroud Runners have shifted across. They do have targets for shooting with their longer range, and they're positioned here on the home objective. Uh, Rayfield's gone eight inches around the corner, going to lend some fire support in this direction. It is equipped with two bright lances, so some firepower available. You still get an eight-inch move of the advertiser. He's shifted across here, and there's a chance for him to try and make a charge. James may well go for Overwatch. We'll see what happens. Uh, Warlord ability here, the Warlord trait, uh, it's natural leader, reroll hit rolls for a core unit, granted in the command phase uh, to the bikers here, so it's like a guide basically, so it means I don't have to take the psychic pack and just use uh, the Warlord trait uh, instead. So they're rerolling their hit rolls and they've shifted out uh, to here to lend some fire power support against, I'm not sure which target yet, but there's plenty of options available. Farsi has moved forward, it's a regular move from him. As uh, really the Eldar army sort of shifted and uh, switched into two blocks here. So this attack going on this side uh, and then round the other side of the table. I was tempted to maybe give up this flank and, and shift over in this direction. But there is a primary objective we must try and hold on to here uh, tactically in this game. So the Wraith Knight shifted round. going to lend some firepower support across in this direction. Banshees have advanced. They've got out of the crater, went six. It slowed them down. They made an advance over five. They'll be able to charge. They're here. Uh, it's... We've jumped out, uh, you can go up to 12 inches here with the warp jump generator uh, here on the Autark. So Bright Star's moved out. He's got a Dragon Fusion gun. Again, a bit of firepower available. And the Dire Avengers halved in size. We move them out. Regular move of five inches because of the crater. We'll fire and then I think we'll tuck in using battle focus. That's movement done for the Eldar. There is a job for every unit on the board. We'll go on to Psychic Phase next. And debut here uh, for the new Farseer Skyrunner. So uh, Farseer, we'll play Doom. That goes off on a nine. Nice. Okay. And we'll we'll put it on put it on this Russ here, I think. So it's gonna go off on him. He's doomed. You think it is. You declared it, boy. Yeah. Well actually, <laughs> it's interesting. Um just learnt this for ninth edition. It's too late now because ninth is about to go. But you declare uh you, you roll your psychic power first, then you declare where it's gonna go. So I just, I just say oh, I'm gonna play Doom. I roll it. Uh, and then I say, right now, I'm going to put it on. Yeah, that's the way you do it. So I learned that today. Did you? <laughs> I did. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, because it's I, I picked it up because for the Eldar Psychic Powers, if you roll high enough, uh, the range of it extends. So then, then, it's then kind you're of okay. a telepathic thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, second power is available, which will go for Fortune. And I, I, I think... No, oh, he's silly putting it on the avatar, isn't it? Really? I'll put it on this Wraith Lord. So, uh, once per psychic phase, I can reroll. Uh, this is Relic. Yeah. A six. I don't think that's enough. I think Fortune's a seven. I'll check, but I don't think that's going to go ahead. It is a six needed. Six required, so it goes off. Five plus feel no pain on the Wraith Lord. I should also mention I spent a CP to restore wounds on the damaged Wraith Lord. And we've got three. Rolled a D3 and got three wounds. It's back up to eight. So both these Wraith Lords now on eight. They're in good operational order. Psychic phase is finished. I could spend a CP to manifest an extra psychic power, but I don't think so. We'll leave it at that. Uh, he's done his work. Command phase, real hit rolls. He's doomed to target. So fast here at work. Oh, I know what happened. Well, go you on. used the strands of fate to save the wound. The block. I did. That's right. Yes, early on in the turn. Happened, yes. We're going to shooting phase next. A critical point in the game for the Elder. All right, James, going to pop smoke on that Russ. We'll start with the, the Wraith Knight. He's all the way over there. He's going to fire his heavy Wraith Cannons into the Russ. And then the two Shuriken Cannons are going to go into the front guard squad across there, the regular infantry. So we'll do... Shuriken Cannons. Yeah, no. We'll go for number of shots, first of all. 
I will call upon JMH, one of the new Patreons here. Yeah, he's an Eldar player. Oh. Number of shots. Eldar. It's heavy D3. Okay, mixed result. One and uh, three, so four shots in total. I'm going to play two hits straight away with my Strands of Fate. There's two hits come through. And I'm going to try and hit with two others. Was any... Uh, those two are hits. So we've got four hits come through. Your toughness. On a... The rush. Toughness eight. Toughness eight. Right. We're strength 14. That is threes to wound. Threes to wound. We are strength 16, James. Twos to wound. In which case, I'll save that and just roll up here on four dice. Oh, there's a double one. Oh, 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 oh. Careful, careful, careful. Right, so let's let's just check the situation here. Um, okay, so it's AP minus four, so you get a six up save. Because we've got a two plus one up save. Okay, I've, I need to assure the destruction of that rush. So I've, I've, I've got a command reroll and try and get a two plus set to win. I do. That should stop it unless James pulls off a miracle here. Three saves a six plus to save that rush. I believe in miracles. <laughs> Just like that song. <laughs> and I'm going to call upon... Oh man, this is a big roll. Maxfield Knuckles, a Silver Star member of the army group. Three saves in six. This is huge. Triple six. I need a super box cards. Dice roll for the Emperor. No. None. All right, take it off. It's dead. Does it explode? What's the damage? Well, it's D3 plus six each time. So it'd be 18 plus... <laughs> 24, 25, 26 wounds. It's a Bane Blade killer. The Wraith Knight strikes again. Target destroyed without mercy here. Just offloading both heavy Wraith cannons to try and do a proper job, a solid job against one target. What's going on here? Do I explode? Oh, he's okay. Spend a CP. What's this? Vengeful salute. Oh, vengeful salute. Kill the banshees. Oh. With the turret weapon. <laughs> You cheeky monkey. Go ahead. Good use of stratagems, James. Well done. Uh, but yeah, I may as well do it. Oh, I he's annoyed. Well. He's doing this out of anger and not out of intelligence here. No, he's... no. It's <laughs> all in the plan. It's not. Nice. He's, <laughs> he's been agitated by the Eldar here, and uh, <laughs> he's starting to it's act only, it's only, irrationally. It's only the turret weapon. Just the turret weapon, okay. Yeah. So, uh, D6 shots. Yes! All oh, six shots. I think the Eldar are getting under his skin. <laughs> it's starting to get annoyed. <sighs> Here we go. Now, now, Mr. Melville, less of your spleen. <sighs> Missed! <laughs> gone. It's gone. Gone. It's gone, uh, James. Uh, Just hen, let it go. <laughs> Who is it? Gone? Little Tank. Little Tank. <laughs> Little Tank is no Henry more. Pearson is no more in this battle. Oh, Rafe Knight. Okay, right. Good work for the... Oh, Eldar Pride to be elevated. Remember it was that minus one. one to hit? Did you do that? Right. Now, uh, <laughs> James' tank may still be alive. James did pop smoke. And those two hits that are all... I thought you calculated Were that. two threes. Right, so we're going to have to figure this out. We'll see if this sits. We know those two definitely go through. Yeah. Um, I would then have had to let one miss yes. and then would have used a BL Town roll to try and convert this into a hit on a four plus. We'll work our way forward. We'll figure this out. All right, so I've still missed. So only two would have gone through, right? I've failed my saves. You failed all your saves on three. So if two went through, you would have failed your saves on two. Because you're on three dice trying to get sixes, you got none. Mm -hmm. It should have been two dice rolling sixes to get none. Or two ones to wound. Yeah, so I think what we need to do is roll my wounds again. Okay, so it would have been those two going straight through. Failed both armor saves. Failed your armor saves, you've already rolled that. Now That's you do fine. Your damage. You've got to beat 13. Okay, 6 and 6 is 12, and 2d3. So the result still going to be the same. Yeah. I wouldn't have needed to command reroll the wound roll. 
because I, on that roll, uh, both those went through. There wasn't any ones because it wasn't rolling the yeah. four dice. Okay, right. so I'll leave it at that. I'll refund the CP. Uh, the result stands. Uh, but James would still defy the tight weapon. Okay, all good. Short, sorted out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, James remembered that uh, correctly, uh, but smoke did not help. Okay, Rafe Knight has struck. We'll, we'll now go for uh, shrieking cannons. Looking for threes. No smoke on these guardsmen here. They've all hit twos. Uh, okay, five wounds at AP minus one. That's on that guard squad, the front squad across there. Uh, yeah, five dice, eight, sixes. That's on the, this guard squad across here. It's going to thin them out a little bit. Three. Save one. Okay, four casualties taken. Right, next, a bit of a strange one. Long range, Shroud Runners, the Iron Range. They've got, the, they've got uh, line of sight and range on this squad across here. So they've got to unleash all the scatter lasers. Two sniper rifles, three sniper rifles into them as well. So we'll do sniper rifles first. So looking for twos, threes. Uh, yep, yeah, so three saves at minus one. On the same squad? The squad here. They're in the open, so they're going to get saves of six plus. Save nine. No, three slain, okay. This firepower is coming from the artist formerly known as Vige, uh, gold level Patreon. So three snipers have uh, done their job, removed those models from there. And this is three scatter lasers, uh, BR10. Okay. All of them, yeah. This is James's first time up against Shroud Runners. Uh, two to win. No AP minus on these, uh, but James's guards will need to make. 14 saves of 5 plus. I'm going to do 7 at a time. Okay. 5 plus. Save 1. Okay. And. Ooh, save 3. Okay. Squad. Kill yeah. Squad's been destroyed. Shroud Runners from Extreme. Actions. Extreme Ranger. Oh, one? Roll of Honor. Near <laughs> one named. Whose squad was it? Not Ray Cross's squad, was it? <laughs> Just one. Tyler Grizzle. Oh. oh, he's gone, he's gone. He's Thank gone. you, comrade, for your support. That you have been removed. Okay. Can you stand? Okay. James. Sir! James salutes the fallen comrades here. Everyone. Uh, round in the corner, off towards the objective, hit by an Eldar sniper fire from extreme range. Uh, <clears throat> Farseer. May as well. Two. Uh, BR10. <laughs> He's not the best. His mind is on other things. Uh, but he does get a uh, an AP minus three coming through with that wound. Uh, saved. Saved. Okay, well done. Uh, next, fire power from here. Going to fire a beam with the Wailing Doom. It is twos, despite the damage we've taken. James is searching through his many stratagems to see if there's anything he can do to counter this. He fears for his Russes. One down. There's three left on the board. Did he subtract one damage? Minus one damage. And it oh. costs three command points. Yeah, for ouch. Rogue or Dawn super Two. Uh, I believe it says Craftwell keywords. I think I still get BL10. Okay, hits. You think? I, I'm pretty sure. I was checking the rules earlier on. It's Craftworld. You need to know! Craftworld brackets. So I insert BL10, which means a reroll hit roll. Uh, now I'm going to try and wound on a three. And I've got to turn to Patrick. Help us. Come on. Andreas Stewart, who is? Ah. I know he's on your side, but for Patreons, he's a Eldar player. Yes! Thank you, Andrea. You can't do anything about that. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, it's okay, that's a shame. Oh, if I had a command reroll, it would have gone what through. Would have been? It would have been D six plus two. Oh, he's a melter. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Hmm. I feel sorry for that tank crew. This one. <laughs> we'll go for. Yeah, we'll do him next, and he's going to go into here. Two shots, then threes. Come on. All right, we'll be your ten. God, I needed that. Uh, we'll try and wound on a four. It does hit. Uh, it does wound. Uh, eight minus four, so a six up to try and block. 
Come on, Chris Kamiski. Bronze Star member of the Army Group. Go ahead. Come on, Chris. Chris Kamiski. Six needed. That's a four. Ooh. D3 plus three damage. Okay, two plus three, five wounds taken on him. Dropping down to eight left. 13 wounds in total. Yeah, okay, so eight to remain. Yeah. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Okay, this is tricky. I'm going to try and do something a bit different here. Okay, I'm going to take the bikers. I'm going to fire into that and try and use Doom, thanks to the Psyker, to try and shred wounds uh, off of that vehicle. So... James scoffs here. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll I can't wait happens. till 10th edition. You won't be able to do that. With the 10th edition won't save you now, brother. What, a, a repulsor being toughness 12? Touch the dice, you've got to use it. Chris a rhino being toughness 9. <laughs> Watch out, James. I love it. He's in his own world. We're looking glory. for threes. Doomed. Yeah, and and uh, helped with the warlord trait here, so we're going to re-roll our hits, which helps re -roll. a little bit. Yeah, with um, natural leader warlord trait. <sighs> so we're going to try and wound here. Sixes are good. Okay, there's three. That's good news. And what I'm going to do is fives to wound. There's no more fives. So that's great, because I'm just going to re-roll all of these foul ones for doom. Sixes to shred. Come on, Chris Comiskey does. Oh, and there's three more. I can't really. And there's four more, actually. AP minuses? AP minus three on these. And that is, is another that couple of wounds. Yeah. So what you get is AP minus one. And then on sixes to wound, it's an extra AP minus two. So these are AP minus one. These are AP minus three. And the idea is just to shred you down using Doom. And they're damaged two each time. So there's uh, a high chance now that this tank will be destroyed. So you've got seven saves of five plus. Yeah, James sees the, the potential now. So you can turn to a Patreon for blocking this oh. one. I was running scatter lasers with these, but I'm starting to really, as a subscriber suggestion, uh, really starting to see the benefit of using shuriken cannons. Damage to the shredding ability uh, seems to be much more potent than volume of shots that you get from scatter lasers. Scatter lasers, although scatter lasers do have their purpose, as we've seen from longer range with the sniper bikes. Five pluses on the dice. James blocks two. It, it's not. It's going to be ten damage. And even if you command reroll, it's still going to yeah. be eight damage. And it's eight required. We've just popped a Russ here with shredding uh, fire coming from bikers. Does it explode? Yeah. It does. Oh, it does. Oh, ouch. Detonation. A second Russ erupts here. The Eldar starting to pick off heavy targets. Nasty stuff from them. Six inch blast. And you can... Yeah, there's going to be a quite a few in range here of this, so we'll check out to see what happens. It's the Farseer that's helped, and actually, that Farseer is Chris Kamiski in charge, paired up with Amy Almo here. So, okay, interesting. Right, so James can roll up uh, for damage coming through against targets that are in range of the exploding rust. That's uh, Andrew Stur removed from place, tank removed. Uh, James maxed out here, so wound taken, the base removed, lost two models from here, maxed out here as well, uh, three wounds taken Thank you, Andrew. Sure. on the Russ, so Marcus Fraser's left on this side. Now, because we fired across here, neglected to fire against those, but uh, that's just the trade-off here, I think it's preferable to take out the Russ. Okay, so I think that's firepower done across here on this side, there's still more firepower remains here for the Elder. Dire Avengers, going to go into the squad across here. Looking for threes. We'll reroll ones because of the Altark nearby. Bright Star, Hope of the Eldar. And then we'll be able to hand this too. Nice. Then we will try and wound here on threes. That shreds at minus four. These are all minus two, so it's threes to kill. Oh, do you? Oh, because of the priest? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just lump these all together then. It's quite efficient here. Nine saves. Nine saves is six plus. James shakes his head in despair here. What do you expect from something you absolutely just... <laughs> <dis -tasted>? <laughs> James. Oh. James's memory is starting to... Uh, no, they can't. Bring back. 
Oh, flashback who's from gone? the past. Ray Cross. Oh, his Ray Cross squad's gone. Ryan Woolley's gone. And the rest are dead. Shredded here. Okay. And then James will now make a battle focus move and dive into cover. Two inches. Yeah. Becomes a three because of BL10. Oh. <laughs> so I've tucked them in there. The objective's just in there. So they're uh, <laughs> just. Cowards. They're here. Not cowards. It's wisdom, James. Wisdom. To preserve <laughs> ourselves to fight for another day. And now, because you've been rude, we're going to fire him into that. So this is Ben Shaw <laughs> and it's Sprite Star. So we're looking for. A I laugh at the face of the old guy. A two. <laughs> a three. Uh, AP minus four. It's four up armor saves. Open copy. Okay. And damage. Four plus two. Still Six. alive. Still alive. Okay. Uh, one wound. One wound left. Okay. Six damage. And then with him, we shall uh, do a warp jump manoeuvre of 2d6. Mm. Seven inch move with him. I so, know, I just hate so he zips out, shoots and zips back Who do in. I hate the most? He's, <laughs> he's gone. You've, been, you've played one turn against the Elder and you now hate them <laughs> more than everyone else. So we've duck, tucked him in just to there. Okay, so we'll go for Rafe Lord next, I think. Uh, and we'll, sh we'll shuriken here. And then we'll do two bright lunch shots into these. Uh, we'll do the two bright lances first, he thinks. So I'll go across here. Threes. Threes. Okay. Okay. All right, so one wound. not much I can do about it. Uh, take minus four. Goes three. Not much James can do. Uh, okay, so it's uh, two plus three. Five damage. Again, not enough to destroy one. Plenty of wounds on these things now. Two wounds left. Okay. Uh, be on this one. Shuriken catapults. Uh, be ten. Hit. And... I don't get annoyed, James. Uh, because I jumped him back to there, he's actually granting him reroll once because it's core. That's still a good. <laughs> good. Five to wound. Uh, yeah, interesting. Right. So this is AP minus three. Damage. One. AP minus two. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, it's, no that's no. the armored version. Go ahead. Forget it. AP minus three. Yeah. It goes through. Oh, right. So over. it destroys him. Does it explode? Doesn't explode. No. And you've got a save here of AP minus one. Uh, five up. No, okay. take the wounds is down to six. Yeah, so one sensor destroyed, six wounds on the next one. Okay, I think that's firepower done. Banshees advanced, no shooting from them. Everyone else was shot and ducked into cover. Uh, so we'll go on to charges next. So Banshees will charge here. Don't even worry about Overwatch because you're not allowed. Uh, actually, they have a leadership value because they're a squadron. Here comes a charge. It's a four. It could be enough here. We'll check. All right, so gut B squad. They make it in. Four is enough. That gets us in range. So Banshee is yeah, so going. They're on plus one to the wound roll, and they get ten attacks with the mirror swords at damage two. What? <laughs> you'll two damage? Yeah, you'll find out in a minute. Okay, so... I uh, think we'll, I found out now. <laughs> we'll go around and see if there's any other charges. With the Avatar? Yeah, the Avatar's yeah, going to try and overwatch. go. Oh, man, here we go. It's a seven-inch charge, and James is going to try and overwatch. Now, he could stop us. <laughs> it's a... Two wounds left. So now ingrained precision only applies to shooting phase. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do supercharge with the plasma. No, actually, you know, there's no point because it's gonna be minus one damage. But your toughness eight though, that's the problem. Yes. Uh may as well supercharge. May as well supercharge. Go ahead. Two D three shots to the plasma. You're gonna commit this to anybody? It's yes. Five, five shots coming. Come on, Winston. Which is a is. gold star member. He'll take that chance to overwatch and stop an avatar. God, that's the level of stuff you need. Lieutenant General of the Army Group. So five shots, need sixes. Five shots, need sixes. Oh, this is huge. Any sixes coming through is going to be painful. I take no wounds, but no hits. Ooh. Next up is the Laz Cannon. Laz Cannon. Come on, Mister Adkins. Switch your James up if you no. no. D six shots. This is the t main turret gun. Nice. Five shots. Odds are I should get Come one on, hit. Come on, give me that six. 
Oh, <laughs> two, two. Are they auto wound? No. Oh. They apply to the shooting phase. Oh, right, cool. Uh, three to wound. Strength 10. Yeah. Oh, no. AP minus three. No. Yes. Now you know how the, the Imperial Guard love to kill Eldar. <laughs> Four plus in vulnerable saves. This is massive. One, oh two, man. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm looking for any kind of Eldar helpers. Good. There's gotta be somebody. I've burnt I've used them all up. We'll go Andrew Swan. Four pluses. Oh, one's made it through. Um, I have to command reroll that and risk the charge. It's a seven inch charge. Command reroll block because D6 halved. I hate this. I hate it. It hates the situation. Oh, Either of us is going to scream on this dice roll. Come on. Come on. Get it done. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's gone through. Yes. Come on, baby. <laughs> now, come on, roll your damage. It's three plus D3 damage. No, but you've done it. You can't fail. I don't care. I want overkill. <laughs> Two. Um. What does that mean? Four damage. Oh, it is three. It's three plus D3. Oh, you... Oh. I'll double check the stats, but I'm pretty sure that is what the new damage bracket thing is. It's, it's basically a better version than the Bane Blade whole mounted demolisher cannon. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing. There is. You can whip all day now. If I had have put fortune onto him, because I thought about doing it, and I thought, no, it's surely not Engage worth it. He wouldn't have survived. He still wouldn't have survived. Oh, man, does he explode? No, he doesn't. Oh, Avatar, just short. Would he have made his charge? Just rolling to see what would have happened. Plus three damage. Yeah, that's that reliability. He would have snake eyes on his charge. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it right there. Just we'll cut that laughter. <laughs> I think he gets he, he grants reroll charges, but he can't reroll charge when he's dead. <laughs> you know, just pretending if he had have survived. So he only core units. No, he's not core, so he wouldn't have benefited Does he from the reroll. Uh, I've already rolled that and failed, so no. Avatar's gone. He was a he was close. To get in a charge here. That's a 280 points. A kill. Sink. Character. Yes. Yeah, there's victory points available as well. Well done, James. Uh, avatar removed from play. Just about. Would have failed its charge anyway. I one Two Phoenix Swords three. removed from play. Ray Cross. Eldar player Lucas Brown removed as well. So they're gone. Uh, we've got a tank that survived. Sat on an objective with nine wounds yeah. left. That, oh, that is come on. Glory. Uh, that is defiance. Oh. Well done. King stands. Um. Oh please, you're gonna charge jet bikes into a tank. Yep, go ahead. Bikers go in. Emergency maneuver. Ten inch charge. In they go. Bikers are gonna go in. Yeah, there's some effort to the madness. I'm sitting on objective here. I can't. I don't want to charge him with him. We'll, we'll keep him where he is. A bit exposed now, but we're quite sheltered from stuff. We'll oh, see. Hello. <laughs> but he's available. But the idea is to try and um, wrap around this and contest. Take away the subjective from James as well. He's equipped with blast weaponry also, so these bikers will be quite well protected if James can't escape. Uh, but obviously, uh, he could send the bayonet in uh, to try and reclaim the objective. So I'm uh, just trying to mix things up here on this flank. It's not gone, gone entirely according to plan, but the Elder have certainly caused damage and trouble uh, over on this flank. I think that's all the charges done. There's nothing else. So we'll resolve combats next. All right, so combat's uh, resolved around here. We've wrapped in, tucked James in. Actually caused a wound. He failed a save on a one, uh, and then did no damage in return. Let's drop it down to eight wounds left. That's that resolved. We'll head around the other side. Uh, the last combat here is the uh, benches on the charge. All right, so Gut B squad gone in. I've tapped them in. Uh, here, we're going to try and do as much damage as we can. We do stand some kind of chance here. So the Exarch's on. Ten attacks in total with the Mirror Swords. Ten attacks. Ten attacks, yeah. We're looking More for the Primark. Looking for th oh, well, yeah, 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 Lionel yeah, Johnson, he has twenty attacks. <laughs> looking for threes. No kind of rerolls available. Just a BL ten, which we'll do now. Oh, 
It's not so good here. Uh, five stones becomes fours, plus one to the wind rolls on the charge. Okay, so three make it through. Making minus. Yeah, I think they're minus three for Mirror's Hordes. Yeah, penalty. Yeah. Yeah, you can see what's happening here is um, the Exarch is on four attacks plus one, and then two hit rolls instead of one with Mirror Swords. So AP minus three. Strong. Two damage time? Uh, yeah, it's two damage time because of explode. piercing strikes. I don't. No explosion, okay. So you rolled your saves and fouled all of them? It goes through my armor because it's a oh, four okay. armor. Oh, gotcha, 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 yeah, okay. Then the other benches get three attacks each. Yeah, no, they're pretty good. And we're looking for threes. It's a poor roll. It's exceptionally bad. Uh, Force to wind. Uh, just the one wind comes through. And these are AP minus four. So uh, we'll, we'll keep that six there. You dropped a six on that oh, one. Oh, so the regular power sword is uh, AP minus four. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to uh, consolidate here. So that was the intent to wrap these models around. Uh, there's, five, there's four of them left, so I can stretch them out to, to max on the unit coherence. So just try and pin this. Uh, the vehicle down. James can fight back with the model, and that's combat's resolved. Two attacks. All right, James calls the wound. I'm going to put it on the Exarch. That squad's doomed. James is going to ban it. Them, so I don't want to lose models now. I don't want James breaking out. So we'll, we'll keep them like that and take the wound on the Exarch and play it that way. That's the turn finished uh, here. Bit of morale to resolve. We'll see what points have come through. Leadership on the Generally side. speaking, it's been a good response from the Elder. They have uh, had success. They've caused some heavy damage here against the guard. All right, so morale holds. Uh, no problem for James's units. Uh, points coming through. James picked up assassination actually for the avatars. It puts him on five. Eldar three points for kill points coming through. That's the two Russes and the infantry squad. Uh, bring it down. Two sentinels, two Russes is six points in total. So that takes us to nine points to five. Eldar have taken the lead. Uh, they are positioned on three objectives. Four objectives uh, here actually. Uh, so that's going to disrupt. James to some degree, although he is comfortable enough on two, so he's still going to get those eight points coming through for primary, so it's not too much panic in that regard. Firepower does remain. James has some reserves that could arrive. Uh, he's dealt with the Avatar. It has gone, eventually being destroyed in Overwatch. But Eldar uh, entangling themselves with the guard here, causing disruption, causing damage, uh, but still plenty of fight left in James's guard uh, army for sure at this stage. Uh, we're going to the second turn of the game. So much has happened already uh, here. Both sides have gone aggressive and so much has taken place in this battle. Eldar have their noses and ears in front at this stage. We'll see if James uh, can retaliate here, dish out some decent damage as we head on to the second turn of the game, the Astra Militarum, next. So we're on turn two for the guard. Eight victory points because I secured two primaries. Yep. Primaries. That's right. Uh, and command phase. Yes. I orders. Take orders to them. Sorry, take orders. Uh, fourth for the emperor for this infantry squad, or Cadian shock trooper squad. The rest have take aim. That's including the sentinels as well. Mm -hmm. 
they have taken aim. The original order was to these, but they were originally within six inches. So they have the platoon keyword and they get any unit within six that has the platoon keyword gets that order as well. Okay. I've done that. That includes them and not those, but these and them. Yep. Some Sentinels point, locked in combat. Some points coming through for banners as well. Now, checking the rules for this thing. <laughs> for guard, James can elect to fire his weapons, even blast, mm -hmm. at targets outside of close combat, mm -hmm. even whilst in base contact. So yes, he's locked in close combat, but he's going to be able Hello. to shoot at... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to be able to do some firepower. Ignorance is my weapon. Yeah, so this is trouble. This thing is dangerous now, even though it's been pinned down. Uh, by bikers. Well, and you, covered... pulled out, you pulled in combat. Now, do you have any stratagems that uh, you can pull back and shoot? Yes. I thought so. <laughs> Trickery as well as stupidity. So, we'll move... this squad's moved around here. There's eight of them left. I think they're going to fix bayonets and go in. Tanks remained where it is, pinned down. James holding here and holding on to this home objective. This squad's pushed around. Tanks pushed forwards as well. Uh, and then across the other side, uh, command party. Uh, Ogren's in front, pushing forwards. Infantry squad here. Priest here. His prayer failed. This squad's pushed forwards. Uh, so yeah, guard thanks. continue with their advance. Locked in close combat here. Again, James is going to use the bayonet to try and flush the banshees out. And then the armoured sentinels. Move nine. Move nine. They've swung around here again to harass the Eldar units trying to shelter just around the corner. So moving forwards in defiance of this Wraith Knight across here. Okay. So, reserves, Kasakins not on, nope. Hellhound not on yet. James holding his reserves for now. That's movement done. Straight on to shooting phase next. All right, so on firepower, uh, shots coming in uh, from the multi-laser. A wound caused, failed with the armor save, and it's had to go on the Exarch. But it's a three-wound model, so she's still alive just about. Uh, so, clinging on. Uh, and then there were some auto wounds coming through from las guns across here. Three saves, AP minus one, we passed all of them uh, on the Wraith Knight. Still, it's untouched at this stage. How many models do you have left in the... It's five dive ranges left. So I'm going to switch targets. I'm going to target those snipers. Oh, is he? He's going to fire over there. And supercharge. Oh, no. Right. you're holding an objective. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, okay. That's easier kill, I think. Yeah, it's James going to go after the Shroud Runners here. No minus to hit rolls. They count as, like, cover... Don't care about cover. We'll shred it. Yeah, James is going to supercharge and go after the notes. There may well be trouble. So yeah, there's a bit of cover here. They're sheltering here behind this mm -hmm. in the woods. Um, that we've played as Munitorum. So they count as infantry. So infantry sheltering behind will get light cover. So that'll boost them up a little bit, give them some kind of chance. But uh, if James rolls a good volley here, the Shroud Runners will be in trouble. Supercharge, D3 shots. Three shots. Okay, looking for threes. Second Sentinel, D3. Two. Okay. And last one is good. <laughs> oh no. Hitting on three because it take aim. They have the platoon keyword. And I'm going to call upon Daniel Baker, a Bronze Star member of the Army Group. This is his moment of glory. Okay. Hitting on threes. Oh, yes. Strength is eight. Toughness is four. Two's wound. Uh oh. No auto wounds, sadly. My sniper bikes. Oh, two ones. <sighs> Not going to CP reroll. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to try and block three of these. I'll turn to a Petronic friend, Nicholas Lucas. Six is unneeded. Uh, we'll say this one's not getting any cover at all, but these two are. So no, I'll put them on the cover, guys, first. Oh, no, I would not. No, because the this guy's holding the objective, so I'm going to do one at a time. Uh, so, sorry about this, but I've got AP a... AP minus four. AP minus four, yeah. So it's a two up, so I get six up on Peter Grant, the first to go. Not saved. And saved. Okay, so Peter Grant lives, uh, but he needs to roll an extra one here. Uh, needing a six. No. Oh. Two damage. Yeah, two damage each time. Uh, so it's four wounds coming through in total, so it's enough to kill a bike, so... Peter Grant removed, sadly. Didn't see them shots coming, James. Just good shooting. Sniper bikes still remain. The Shroud Runners still remain on the home objective, but just starting to take casualties. Yeah, James taking a mortal wound, by the yeah. way. There's one rolled for shooting. Okay. Um, 
Now, they, uh, the relic has been activated, by the way. I forgot mm. to mention that mm. that was on the command phase. So, um, they'll be adding plus one to hit, I think, plus one to wound. Well, I'll double check the wording. But the relic has been activated. Okay. Okay, heavy bolts of firepower coming in from the back here. Six shots going against the Wraith Lord. Not the ideal target here, but it's pretty much the only thing that they can see. So looking for fours, looking for fives. Just the one. And we'll take a save. Which we fail and... Two damage, minus one. Yeah, becomes one damage, so down to seven wounds left. Wraith Lord's coping at the moment. They're surviving. Both of them doing okay at this stage. Right, demolish a tank in the middle. It's dangerous enough. Demolish a cannon's out of range. Last cannon heavy bolt is going to go into the shroud runners. They're going to be picked on again. James trying to clear that objective. Uh, two's to wound because of uh, old grudges. Ooh. That's with the heavy bolters? Yep. Okay. That's three wounds, AP minus one. Right, so both getting cover this time. So we'll go to Andrew Stewart at the back uh, to absorb these. AP minus one. So we're looking at threes. I roll two dice. <gasps> two damage. Yeah, two damage at a time. All right, we're alive. We've taken two wounds. Last cannon. Last cannon next, yep. Yeah. Hit you. Yep. Yeah. Who's to wound? Wounded you. If you minus three. It's three. Okay, so I'll try and make a save here on this one. Five. Two up. Three up. Four up. Five up. That is actually a pass because they count as infantry and they're within uh, range of the terrain. So just about managed to survive. That's Andrea Stewart. Sniper bike clinging on. All right, so five power from here. Laz cannon. Heavy bolters. Demolisher cannon in Tim. James is splitting fire, going ambitious. James takes these two out. Serious trouble for the Eldar over on this flank. Paul David Gray, welcome to the Army Group. Bronze Star member and YouTube member as well, or premium member. What's this, Last Cannon? Uh, yes, it's just going to dedicate it to him. So this is the Last Cannon. That's a miss. miss. And then the Heavy Bolters. Yep. Need five, because it's in close combat. Just all, your Patreon fire, just the whole lot yeah. in this tank. Uh, only one hit. Oh boy. That's a wound. It is a wound, it is a wound, it is a wound. Minus one. Okay, so I'll roll up a save. Three, I don't think so. No, no, because he comes with a... We'll take the damage. Two damage. Two damage, two wounds taken. So I think it's a four up save and a four plus invulnerable save for him. So it's uh, Marcus Fraser's tank here, firing away. Come on, Paul. D6. Yes! yes. Oh, blast. Praise the Emperor. Uh, it's a turret weapon, so it's not bracketed fully. So oh, it's on plus one tit rolls, nice. It's minus one, then plus one. Yeah, That's an auto fours. wound. Strands of Fate, by the way, I should tell you. Didn't roll very well at all. Uh, it's ended up getting two hit rolls, a psychic test, and a charge roll, which shows a six or two in there, but no. So. And spend a CP. It's preserving, though, yet again roll. in our games that we're playing, multiple games of the Elder. Wraith Knight's not taking much damage. This is happening in multiple games. What's your thoughts on the Wraith Knight, James? It's not being dealt with. It's just lumbering away there in the corner. CP re-roll for one of them. <laughs> He's throwing his hands up in despair. Doesn't know how to take it on. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, Failed the CP. One auto wound, though. Yes. Strength is 10. Toughness 8. Three to, to wound. wound. This is a big roll. Yes. Thank you, minus 3. Right. Six is to block. Mm. Massive roll. D Blood Angels Ryan. Oh, I'll use the Xenos dice. Six is a single six, we'll be happy. Now it's six plus two D three damage. Um oh, I can't oh, command yes. reroll that. Oh yes. Oh see if I had a strands of fate that, that would have been saved literally saved the day. Um I'm not going to CP reroll, but I'll roll anyway to see what we've got. Right. So, damage. You're gone. <laughs> no, please, no. Six <sighs> plus two, Five. nine damage, eight damage. Death. Seven. Five less one is four. Four less one is three. Seven. Precisely what you needed. Was it each time? 
Yeah, for each bit of damage coming through. Is it? Yo, what's this? Oh! <gasps> Hallelujah! What's that? You know what that is. No. Fortune from a friend. Oh, you get to re-roll. <laughs> no, I get not re-roll. A five plus feel no pain. Oh. <laughs> cool. Is it each bit of damage you do, or is it just a lump summary of that weapon? Well, so let's just, just, just backtrack here. So you're saying this is uh, three plus D3. So it's yes. five wounds. Yes. Drops to four. Each time. Minus one damage, yeah, each yeah. time. This one is four wounds, drops on to three. So seven in total, which is enough to kill him. But fortune favours the brave. And thanks to the Farseer, we might be able to survive this. Come on. Oh, we do it block two. That's all we need. Just needed one with block two, block two, block two. All right, so it is alive and it's got two wounds left. Just about, and I'm wondering if James has got any kind of <gasps> firepower that mm -hmm. could try and take it down for your auto wounds. But frustratingly, Fortune has kept the Wraith Lord alive. Okay, James will think about what can fire at this. Add missile launchers over in that corner. Can't see through this terrain, it's obscuring, but James can see through to the Wraith Knights. He's gonna put some shots into that. Fours, crack shots. Oh, why am I using those dice? Go on, give him a go. Give him a go. No, no, no. Not touching them. <laughs> it's not going to use them. One auto wound. Eight minus two. Okay. Uh, five plus. Save or in one save? Nope. D6. D6 damage. Okay, damage is going to come through. Two damage. Yeah, minus one. Two damage. So dropping down to 20 wounds left, I believe. Okay, not much else you can see. Round here, there's not really many targets. He's sheltered from firepower across there, so we're pretty much looking at shooting phase finished. There's firepower available from here. There is a plucky young guardsman called Mr. Eggsauce. Oh, please, it's him. He's in range of my Farsia. <laughs> I'll do him last. Okay. No, sorry. The other one's out of range by a Croot's Whisker. That's Patrick, darling. Oh, he's just short here. It just ends about there for 12 inches. No target across here. Uh, but then this guardsman, there's five of them with las guns. So auto wounds would be useful here against this pesky Wraith Lord. Three and auto wounds. James has got three. All right. Come on, don't, don't fail on this pass. <laughs> no, no, please. Don't do this. Oh. <laughs> One wound left. One wound left. <laughs> okay, and then we've got uh, uh, Mr. Egg Sauce Melter Shot. The Emperor Egg Sauce. What do you need, fours? Yeah. Oh. I didn't advance. Strength is eight. Two to wind. Six. Yo. Uh oh, it's a bit of trouble Eight here. Minus four. Yeah, we'll take a four plus invulnerable save. Got a Chris Heim for this one. Come on. Yo! <laughs> what would the uh, damage have been? Three. Three, all right, okay, okay. He would have still survived. I think it's a six wound model. Uh, but we managed to keep that danger away and we hold the objective just some real tight results across here that's worked out in the Eldar's favor kept stuff alive okay any other shooting i don't think so we're going to charges the cry of fixed bayonets goes up across the line all right so charges going ahead on both flanks fixed bayonets and going in and across the other side let's see if we can zoom in here across there so sentinel uh, to the rescue here with the guard squad charging in to try and flush out the benches Priest has got himself involved in the combat as well. Uh, so that charge has gone ahead all according to plan. We'll uh, get these combats resolved next. All right, so we've pressed ahead and resolved these combats. It's been quite straightforward here. No damage at all against the bikers. That's the tank and the infantry fighting. We attacked back with some models against James's infantry and killed a guardsman across this side. Uh, then around the other side of the board, uh, the priest killed the exarch, didn't he? He attacked first. Yep, yeah, chainsaw. And then, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, Banshee, no more. So yes, that's what happened 
uh, in James's imagination, and then the rest fixed bayonets and stabbed the remaining benches and took Feel them down. Feel my righteous fury! <laughs> so, purged and pushing forwards with the infantry squad, and then also the sentinel pushing forwards as well. Benches have been purged and, and cleared out of the way as the guard continued to press ahead. Bayonets been withdrawn from the limp bodies of the benches, and the guard been given orders just to press on aggressively around that flank, despite the Wraith Knight standing there, uh, the guard continued to press forward. So credit to them for their bravery. That's combat's resolve. We'll calculate points now at the end of the turn, but of morale, I don't think it's going to be too much issue. Uh, resolve morale, calculate points, give you an idea of the score. All right, so morale's good across the board here. Uh, points coming in, not too bad here for the guard. Eight points for primaries. Uh, a kill point from last turn, by the way, because James killed the avatar on my turn one, if I watch. Another point picked up because he destroyed the banshees. They're gone. Point picked up for that. Uh, boots on the ground, another two points been picked up for two table quarters with infantry platoon units inside. Uh, and then three points for the banners uh, here as well being picked up, so really good. Uh, and then assassination, three points for the Avatar of Cain. So 20 points in total here for the guard, healthy enough for them. Uh, to the Eldar's nines. Eldar got some catching up to do, which they'll do straight away. We're on, uh, we've managed to hold on to objectives just about, so that's healthy enough. Uh, but we'll go on to the second turn for the Eldar. I've got a bit of a plan here. Might be able to deliver uh, quite a heavy blow against the guard. But we'll see. We'll go on to turn two for the Eldar next. All right, so turn two for the Eldar. Uh, so James has dropped a point here for banners. We did actually claim that banner. James just got it back. But we, James did lose that banner on there. So he's dropped down to 19 victory points. Eight points picked up because uh, of primaries. James did regain that one, so it's three each at this stage. Eldar control three, so they pick up eight points uh, in total for that. So, paid a CP to restore D3 wounds, got three. So back up to four on this Ray Lord here. It's in a healthier situation, still heavy damage on that. Uh, and then it, and it's moved out across in this direction. It was then found itself in six inches uh, of the fast here. So it's Warlord Trait granting real hit rolls to that. As I think that's shooting in close combat, so it's use, useful enough. If we do try and charge, though, there is the danger of overwatch, which is a problem. Farsi has moved off the objective. We're all sort of leapfrogging across here. So Farsi has moved off the objective to here. Paid a CP to get the bikers out of close combat and have pulled them out to here to shoot, uh, to start putting some firepower into James's back lines. Uh, and then they've been joined via deep strike here by the Dire Avengers. They're just straddled in between multiple guard units, but some firepower available again in James's back line. I'll try and go after James's heavy firepower support with the infantry as the Elder try to rot away uh, the what's left of this guard army here. Wraith Knights then shifted moving across to claim the home objective, uh, to take it off of the Shroud Runners and then to fire down this direction. I think it's going to go after the... Uh, it's Russ. The two remaining Shroud Runners have shifted across to here to fire and then fade over onto the objective. Oh. So they're all just shifting across oh. this direction. Elder hop, skipping oh. and jumping across the board in dazzling speed, <laughs> style, stamina and aggression. Like leaping salmons up, going upstream. <laughs> they move around the board. It's glorious to behold. Uh, so... Uh, Bold here with Bright Star. He's jumped across here with his warp jump generator to let loose of another little shot. Oh, no, he's going to pull back. And then he can go well. for a charge oh. or he can dazzle away back into the shadows. And they're maneuvering out of cover with these to shoot and then zip back it in again very with the Dire Avengers. Uh, and then the Wraith Lord moving through. He's managed to get away. He's gone six inches, not eight. He's managed to get out of the crater and is poised to shoot and charge across here. So we haven't abandoned this flank, uh, but we're just shifting our emphasis to the left. Uh, here with the Elder. Lots of shooting available here. We're going to Psychic Phase first. All right, I'm going to pull out a little move with him. I'm going to play Executioner. I'm going to use Strands of Fate. The power will go off. And I'm going to cause D3 mortal wounds on the Guard Squad straight ahead. Just like that? Just like that. Who needs dice? Dave Humphreys for the, the damage. It's two. Two mortal wounds. So two Guardsmen slain. And then because I slayed a model, I get an extra D3 mortal wounds of another two. So that's uh, two more guardsmen, like so. Just trying to whittle that squad uh, down. Now has an AP value. Yeah, a tenth they're changing it around. But, but for now, we smite away. Well, that's executioner, actually, just uh, psychically assassinating individual guardsmen. Okay. I'll try and go doom on here. 
so seven is required so that goes off so tiny boys were killed team on him uh four so far on them so psychic phase finished i've got cp to try and manifest an extra psychic power but uh the uh, comiskey amy almo at uh, farseer putting the work in once again psychic phase finished efficient enough we'll go on to shooting phase next start with this one uh the, the michael fryer wraith lord two bright lances into here and two the the yeah the shuriken catapults into there as well or into the guardsmen we'll go after them that's flamers no no i, I you have to pay you have to it's either shuriken catapults or flamers i've gone for shuriken catapults with these um, so but but that's it, modeled as a flamer oh yeah but that's like yeah but that's proxy that's from Mons. that's confusion no no but they're like lies no they're, deceit no, they're, heresy they're dummy ones it's the eldar of it's a trick to make you think they're flamers in fact they are shrieking catapults so I'll, I'll not use fake dice yet no no i'll definitely not because i'm already on hit rolls so two shots of bright lances needing threes uh we're on hit rolls because he was blessed uh, by the farseer yeah that's converted to a hit nice so now we're trying to doom him forced wound Okay, those go through. Minus four. You got track guards. No, it doesn't help. No, does it? no, no. It's two up armor, so I've got two six up saves. <sighs> James got one more. Patreon. I'm going to steal one of your patrons. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I've left all the imperial ones. Really, uh, you've got Marcus Anthony here. Yeah, I do. Okay, come on, Marcus. He's a Dark Angels, but he's mixed actually. Dark Angels sisters, uh, Tau. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought <laughs> I was going to say praise the Emperor, but it's not quite big. Sixes. No, it's 2d3 plus six damage. Well, it's, you know, it's... it's 2d3 plus six? <laughs> You're in total, yeah. <laughs> D3 plus three. So, <laughs> so it's dead, but I'll just roll up the damage here. Yeah, yeah okay. So that's uh, 10 wounds. Does it explode? Does it blow up? That's Marcus Fraser's Russ here. No, vengeful salute. Oh, right. Go ahead. You kill me, I kill you. Oh, blast. I forgot Andrew about that. Andrew Stewart will do the glory. Gold star member of the army group. I'll remove him after his shot. Go ahead, D6 shots. So I spent the CP down to one command point. Yeah, I'm on none. We've used them up rightly here in five this shots. game. Five shots. Oh, no, five shots. Come on, survive. Hit you on fives because of the stratagem. Okay, it's a big roll. Auto wound. Auto wound, yeah. And a hit. Oh, no. And a wound. AP oh, no. minus three. Two saves of six plus. Need a miracle. Against strands of fate would have been great. Uh, it will turn to uh, Michael German for this one. Oh, he's Eldari player. Of course he is. Yes. Sixes. I just sense this is going to come. <laughs> Ow. Go ahead. Six plus uh, 2d3. Dead. Now clear off. Does it do anything? Now? <laughs> oh, tragedy. That is uh, that is revenge, James. Nasty stuff. Well Who's done. fallen? Michael Fryer. My Marcus Frey's for me. Yeah. Uh, what a we salute you, sir. Thank you for your service. And with the stratagem in hand, we'll do a vengeful salute for Cadia. Fire! <clears throat> Before he detonated. That's a good way to go, James. That really was well done. I love that stratagem. It's, it's very cool. Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll put... Oh, good job we uh, did do our uh, leaping salmon effect with Eldar units. So, yeah, I'm glad I fired him first, actually, before that vengeful salute came in. Okay, so that's him done. Now there's... Oh, well, um, mystical goodbye. We're firing our shuriken catapults here before we die. Yes, it's all simultaneous. So four shots. Uh, we are on the hit rolls. Uh, three swing. And yeah, two wounds come through, minus one. Sixes. Yep. So who's going to go? Keep uh, Melsa gun alive. Take the anonymous sergeant off. And I'm going to roll dice because it's not fair. Okay, four plus pet. I love them both. <laughs> okay. I really do. They're my comrades. Okay, four plus Patrick Darling has to go. No, Patrick Darling survives. Oh, Exhaust. Exhaust is gone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of revenge stuff going on here. Yeah. 
Not that Patrick Darn is going to survive. He's probably got seconds left to live. Because I'll now. But it's still seconds. Yes, that's the spirit. Now I'm going <laughs> to offload shooting catapult firepower into him. Uh, two's to hit with the fast here. <laughs> Three's to wound. Oh. Let's take him off. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. He did. He got 17.5 seconds of extra life on the board. <laughs> Squad destroyed. Ugh, Eldar, just ridiculous. Oh, and... Uh, you killed a unit. I killed a unit, and I could make a battle focus move. Why not? Of an inch. But it's... Uh, it, um, Beltan, so it becomes a three. James calls it cowardice, but preservation is the word. We've shifted across to here to take advantage of the lookout, sir. Uh, protecting him. So, debut for the fast here, and I have to say, good hard work from him so far. Just so flexible. flexible. What else can he do? Break his leg and then just recover it back again or something? I don't know. Who <laughs> knows, but he's pretty good. All right. Snap his, or turn his head 180 degrees. I mean, now, like a flipping owl! <laughs> next, we'll split five of these. We'll go after multiple targets with their firepower. All right, so five power of these next. Uh, they're going to commit two of them into the heavy bolters. Just right, eating away at the guard back line here. Uh, the rest are going into there. So we're looking for threes. Uh, I'll be able to turn at this point. Okay. Uh, two to win. Nice. They're dead, James. Those are AP minus three. Oh, the two damage at time? Yeah, two damage at time. So Who was that? That's Marshall Cummings', Marshall Cummings. squad here. Eldar just, yeah, oh, it's efficiency here. And then we'll go for uh, firepower from the others down here. Uh, can you stand? Okay, James called it. Sorry, I should have let you do that first. It's blistering firepower. So what does this do? Force to wound, regardless. Nice, would have been twos. And the dice roll's still okay. Dice roll's still really good. Uh, okay, so uh, one dead guardsman. And six saves at minus one. So he's dead. Yeah. And six saves. A bit of cover. Yeah, some models are going to get cover. I'll do the ones then cover first. Okay. Uh, just do one at a time then. I can see one. Five plus. Dead. No. Dead. Dead. Oh, come on. Oh, dead. I'm just rolling one dice. No. We'll try and get something. Stop it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remove another five. Oh, come on. What was another six, sorry. <laughs> Squad's been decimated. Oh. Okay, so seven casualties coming through across there. Much to James's annoyance, we've tucked in here, oh. further protecting the fast here and then tucking in behind this terrain mm. uh, across here of these. Eldar uh, clearing this flank quite effectively. We are still wary though, there's a Hellhound could arrive, and Kasarkins as well available. Next, we'll further eat away at the back of James's arm. We're going to fire all of those into the missiles. Right, we're saying that's dense cover across there. Minus one to hit rolls, but it is exposed position, so no cover once these go through. Looking for fours. Uh, BL10. Oh, popped an extra hit so with that one. Three shots. They're three shots each, then. Three shots each. Exarch's got two shuriken catapults, so he gets the extra. Yeah, exposed position on top of the lane. Yeah, so we're looking at something like that. It's exposed, but they're in cover. Yeah, it's kind of just the way it works. Mm. Three to kill. Ah, uh, yeah. Three to minus two. Yeah, they're gone. Gone. Target destroyed. squad. So I've made a correction on the movement of those. James is happy enough to do it because uh, I talked about it during the game of keeping these just over the line for behind enemy lines. So we'll, we'll not better wrap. We're electing not to wrap around him to protect him, uh, but to rather try and go for the victory points across here. Uh, target's been removed entirely. See, we're behind enemy lines, you see, this is quite good for our secondaries. Uh, it's destroying targets, but also picking up victory points for getting into James's deployment zone. So, more firepower to come. We'll fire down the middle now with these, and then again, we'll disappear uh, with a battle focus move. We'll shoot at that guard squad that's dead ahead. Uh, so, have you got a medic? I'll shoot at your yep. commissar with the snipers. Uh, two's to hit, and then there will be our tent. Uh, a wound comes through, AP minus one. Fire up in one. Okay, just to put a, a mark on him. Yeah, wound taken, so James can mark him up with that. And then we'll put 12 shots into the guard squad. Which guard squad? It's this squad here. They don't get cover. Yep, looking for twos. Looking for twos, so strength six. Yeah, James will get cover, so it saves a four plus on ten. 
How many saves is that, sorry? Ten in total. Ten. Yeah, scatter lasers here, six shots a time. And I'll roll my battle focus move, which is a one, becomes a three. That'd be our ten. So four to save. Is it AP minus one? No, AP minus zero, nothing. So four ups. Uh, four, four dead. Four. Okay. okay. Right, next, Wraith Knight. Shuriken cannons into the guard squad across here. Uh, and then Heavy Wraith cannons into the rush to go after that. Harrison was removed as a casualty. Oh, okay. Sorry, Harrison. So this is big. We'll go for Jackal on this one. Jackal. Number of shots from the two Heavy Wraith cannons. Can't complain. Five shots. You don't have to complain. They're held up. I will then take two of those shots and make them hits with strands of fate. And now I'm going to try and roll hits with these. And they all hit. Ouch. I've got no CP left, have we? are now going to try and wound on twos. Sixes are good. <gasps> all of the, um, Yeah, just, it's dead. Scott Castello. I'm oh, no, sorry. do you start off with a two-up save? Yeah. Right. Five saves or six plus. Just on the off chance. Okay, but does it explode? What's the damage? Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, it's basically... Um, 24, uh, 30 plus 5d3. Yeah. 39, 40, 41 wounds plus d3 more wounds. 43 wounds. <laughs> okay, does it explode? <laughs> Yeah, this could be the end of the game. <laughs> it's detonated here. That Wraith Knight, I don't know why he's not popular, because from one game to the next, he just takes out one target after the next. Oh, dear. Nasty stuff from the Wraith Knight. We wonder how good it will be in 10th edition, but as far as 9th edition is concerned, uh, it dominates the battlefield here. It's tough enough. And it just, I don't plough it in, because James has got loads of melters in his army, so just holding it at the back, shifting around the board, and then just focusing its firepower on different targets, doing a very efficient job. James flabbergasted at the firepower from this formidable uh, construct. Right, okay. D3 mortal wounds on the squad. One. That's so, on here. Oh, oh, no. You have to lose the sergeant keep the melters going. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who's this? Oh, no. Oh, Sergeant Peter Nastro. Oh. Stop it! Leave me alone. Uh, oh, great. We'll let James dish out the damage here. But oh Three no. Three mortal wounds on the uh, command squad. We'll maybe capture this. Three, Ugh. five, feel no pain. Okay, the yeah. Because of the medic. I saved one wound. Oh, I've got to take two counts. Two off. <sighs> Who's going to go? Surely it's going to be the. Yeah, Vox Man. And the Melter. Ugh. Oh, James, decisions, decisions. Melter. Melter's going. And the rerolling ones is very useful. Um, I need communication. Oh, who's that? That's uh, Take the medic off. off. Oh, ouch. Okay, uh, and then uh, <coughs> James, will, James will go home if he rolls a five plus here. For the oh no, that's the Ogrins. Okay, so two more wounds on them. One wound remaining. Okay. James will mark them up. Commissar. Commissar, James will go home if he rolls a five plus. <laughs> <laughs> Commissar's gone. For as he's chanting forwards, forwards for the Emperor. This is just oh, ridiculous. The tank explodes and destroys him. Uh, they are not within six. Of the edge of the dozer blade? No, looks like they might escape. Oh. Yes. No. D3. <sighs> Don't max out. No! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Three mortal wounds. And by skill, no Eldar units within range. <sighs> it's okay. We did declare his firepower with the Shuriken cannons into that guard squad. Our BL10. And we'll go for twos. One's a kill straight away. Add, and then three saves of five plus. Looks like a wipeout coming up here against this squad. It's another another kill, James. Uh, and then three saves of five plus. Just as that guard squad goes, they're gone. Oh, James froze his hands. Donald Ammer. Despair. Oh. And Jonathan Ray's and a box. <gasps> Fill in your place at patreon.com forward slash 18th Cadian Army Group. Yes. The guarantee survival in the 41st millennium is zero. Almost impossible. <laughs>
almost impossible. Yes, plenty of slots available here. <laughs> it's on James's Patreon page. Oh dear, okay. So, Become a member if you survive the first conflict. <laughs> good shooting from the race tonight. Well, press on, there's more firepower to come. Yeah, I, we're looking at the situation here. The game's pretty much over here. Turn two. The Eldar have caused such havoc amongst the guard uh, that there's no way back for James here. Heavy firepower support's gone. Backline support infantry, infantry's been removed. All the rushes have been destroyed. Jeez, man. Okay, uh, we'll press on. There's actually a fair bit of firepower available from these, so we'll, we'll keep going. So... There is, yeah, there is. Um, we'll go for uh, him. Put the Dacker into here. And then we'll put two Bright Lance shots into these. Oh. So, Bright Lance is first of all. And we'll go Patronic on this one. And we'll go for Longbow BB. There's firepower. Two Bright Lance shots. Uh, BL10. Two hits. Two wounds do come through. Go straight through the armour. D3. Plus three. Six. Destroyed. And six wounds on the next. So that one's... Does it explode? doesn't explode. Uh, I think we're looking at it like that. Which one do you want to put one wound on? Remaining. He's well, got one of them. Um, oh, I'll oh, just put one here. Okay. And that's uh, Paul David Grace. Okay. Uh, then we'll go Shuriken Catapults into here. It's good efficient work here from the old We're re-rolling ones, would you believe, because of him. Okay, and three to wind. One wind comes through, minus one on those, so six up. Okay, one guardsman slain. Uh, we'll then shift with... Hmm. Yeah, we'll go... Yeah, it's interesting because, yeah, there's opportunity here. I think if we can weaken these, we could actually go for the charge. We really could. We really could do this. Um, in which case, I will sh try and shred my way through here with these. So I'm going to offload everything into this guard squad to try and cut those down. So that's going to be 17 shots, actually. No, nope, 18 shots. That's 12. Yeah, there's something about this Eldar list is quite nifty. Oh, uh, boy, or, gets oh so I rerolled that one. I'll just pick out any other ones here. <laughs> I wonder why Tom gets so annoyed by them, yeah. And then we'll try and build Tan for a full house, of course. Oh, stop so, it! Oh. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> this is <hit>. bullying! <laughs> oh dear, we'll try and win. Sixes are good. Oh, it's hoping minus two anyway. So six is to, uh, three is to kill. They're gone. They're gone. Oh, can, can we just... Gee, that's man. it. That's a five-man squad. <laughs> Remove from play. This ridiculous. Oh, man. I'll oh, call that the patrons that are falling. Matthew Wreck, he's just joined. I mean, Sorry. What a way to die. Well, You're so horrible. I mean, come on. Home, Nathalian, then check. He's gone. Gone. And Anthony Leach is gone. Oh. And Cadian Sergeant Steel. Oh, there's so many names. Oh, come on. Is he kneeling? An anonymous guy. Yeah, What's he's it? kneeling. Yeah. Uh, kneel? He's kneeling as well. He you know, did kneeling ones. Yes, I took Taking it from, from the heavy, heavy weapons, weapons teams. Gotcha, right. Clever, I like clever. doing multiple That's different nice. poses. Another kneeler as well. Yeah. I'm Nathalavalvan. Mm. I'll have to do uh, Siri speak and uh, get the correct pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, oh, we'll do a battle focus move with these. And it's a one, but it's BL10, so it becomes a three. So we'll just tuck back in where we were. So is it at minimum three? It's a D6 usually, because with BL10, uh, ones and twos become threes. So it's, just, it, it's helped multiple times in this game. Okay, so now we find ourselves with a path to the priest. Come on in. I will. I've got four up in them. Oh, okay. Uh, See this relic? It reminds you of who we fight for. Okay. And I'm going to fire across into this. Ugh. Should I, should I, should I, or should I not? Come on, you've won the game. Just get it done. Oh, <laughs> missed. He's missed. BL10. Hits. Doesn't wound. wound. 
and not much I can do about it. Okay, so that's that done. We'll leave him where he is. We'll go for the charge with him. And firepower is complete. We'll stop there. We'll go on to charges next. All right, so charges have gone ahead. Uh, we use strands of fate to get in here with the ray flawed. Uh, and then I was going to go after the priest. We've gone across here instead. Just going to try and take these on. So uh, charges have gone ahead. We'll go on to combat resolution next. So I was going to say, James, uh, you couldn't overwatch the other CP. Wouldn't be allowed to anyway because we've got Banshee Mask. You've got Banshee Mask as well as the <laughs> Yes. What haven't you got? <laughs> I paid five points for it. Um, so five points? Five. <clears throat> five? Yeah. So four attacks here with uh, Crushing Strike, I think we'll use. We'll go into this. Looking for threes. Or hit. And then it's going to be threes to win. I don't think the strength's too high. Yeah, strength nine. Threes to win. Oh, it's not that good. It's not that good, actually. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So. You failed. Yeah. AP minus four, though. D3 plus three damage. Sentinel's going to live. And it's just four wounds caused. It's annoying. So I only, I've got no CP, I've got nothing. So uh, that's that goes through there. So three wounds left. Go for the glaive next. Five attacks. In twos. All hit. Five to wound. Strength six. Ah, oh, come on. Nothing. Bright star. Disappointing. James can fight back. I get four attacks. Okay. It's on fours. All hit. Three. Uh, toughness. Three. Three to wound. Four wounded. wounded. Ah. Uh, two up armor save because of his buffs and bonuses. Two wounds go through. Um, the first wound is ignored because of a uh, oh! the, <laughs> once per turn ignores the first failed save. One wound does go through, which is a tragedy for him. So there you go. That's that one done. And then James can fight back with him. Two attacks. Two attacks. One hit. Fives. One wound. Oh, wound comes through. And pass that one on a six. Okay, combat's resolved. Turn finished, bit of morale to resolve. They've been wiped out. There's morale across there, and then we'll calculate points. All right, so morale did bust across here. James kept a uh, the model it was alive. Lives, so it was one, two, or three. Yeah. It was Devin Matthews, but it was not. Tucker survived. Tucker survived. Okay. So points coming through for the other. Pretty good. Eight points of primaries, three points for kill points. No prisoners would be up to about six or seven points by now, just for the number of guard squads, heavy weapons, teams that have been slain. Uh, to bring it down has been good. Eleven points on that one, strong enough for the four Russes being destroyed, three Sentinels being removed, and behind enemy lines starting to rake in points for that as well. Four points coming through uh, for the two units behind enemy lines. 29 points, probably 35 odd points. Uh, with the no prisoners coming through as well at uh, James's 19 and we're saying the battle is over here uh, well, the, made a uh, to Eldar have control of the board what's a problem for James is he's been kicked off of two objectives have been completely cleared uh, really there's resistance across here which is not going to be able to deal with all of this stuff so on future turns right the Eldar are going to swoop in with firepower from here here him he's not going to be destroyed uh, and then as uh, firepower across the other side of the Wraith Lord as well. Uh, so it's just beyond hope, James says here for the guard. So it looks like we have victory at here for the Eldar. And as we've seen in our games, uh, Wraith Lord dominates and reigns supreme here. It still has 20 wounds left and its firepower uh, has been powerful for sure. So James, you've encountered the Eldar after so long you have met them on the field once again. On a mark out of 10 for your hatred for them. 500. So answer the question, do you hate the Tau or the Eldar the most? Both. Just hate them both. You have to choose, James. I can't choose. You can't. <laughs> he hates them so much it clouds his judgment. <laughs> okay, so. oh, dear. Good to see the Eldar back fighting against the guard. So the plan is to bring in another Xenos faction here. We'll line up James is asking for the time against the Necrons. It'll be an entirely different game. Uh, and the plan is to play that over on YouTube channel membership. So if you enjoy our battle reports, you want to help support the channel, uh, and then take advantage of the perks, including bonus content, uh, then join the channel. Link for that is in the video description below. If you go to the channel homepage, you can hit the join button. Uh, and if you go for Aspect Warrior level and above, 
you can join us on the Discord community and you get access to all the bonus videos that we have, including battle reports and including this one that we plan uh, here with the Necrons. So if you want to see Guard take on the Crons, then come and join us over on YouTube at Channel Membership. And as you do so, it helps support the channel. So after Aspect Warrior, there's levels above that. If you want to upgrade uh, and support further, there's Exarch level, which gives you the previous perks and your name in the end credits of all of our games. Uh, then we have the Autarchs, which is model allocation for games. You've seen a couple of them. Uh, they allocate it to individual models, uh, usually like squad leaders and so on uh, for our games. And the top level of support, which is Phoenix Sword level. There's some hidden perks that get revealed once you join. Uh, but you get allocated to entire units for all of our games. And you can join us over on the WhatsApp uh, group as well, where you can taunt James all you wish. <laughs> but there are some Imperial players there that do stand do stand up for James. He does have some buddies me. over on the WhatsApp page. Uh, so that's the different levels that you can support, and also there's Join the army group as well. Today, comrades. Yeah, and of course, support there's poor old James. You can go and support him. No support, <laughs> support him as well. We've decimated them. Right, roll of honor. Survivors, we'll call them out here. So for the Eldar, uh, we'll go across here. So the Paint Lickers, Paint Pot, Daniel Cunningham, and then Autark Dylan Moore survived across here. There's plenty of them here in this game. Marfisto with this squad, uh, with the bikers. The Chris Kamiski, Amy Amo combo with the Farseer. Good hard work from that in this game. Two sniper bikes that did survive. Andrea Stewart just about with one wing left. Then JP at across here. Then we have Nate Miller and Longbow BB on the Wraith Lord. Uh, and then this large unit was cut down but survived. Vagabond, Ed Pharaoh, and then the squad leader, Midnight Miniatures. BPP Wargaming on the Wraith Lord. And then Ben Shaw at on to Bright Star surviving through. So plenty of Phoenix Lord survivors in this game. Okay, units of the game. James says honourable mention to the Armoured Sentinels with the Plasma across the other side. They did okay. Uh, but he has to give it to this Rust that stood its ground on the objective. Uh, vengeful salute, just classic stuff from that. Brought down the Avatar on Overwatch. Heroic stuff. I do love Demolisher Tanks, and that one did particularly well. Not as good as they uh, used to be. I thought game. I'd try them out. Oh, they're brilliant. So. You get to try them again. Blast Necrons to pieces. Mm. Uh, honourable mention to the Farseer. Good debut, good hard work. Honorable mention to these bikers, good firepower coming from those, but I have to give it to the Wraith Knights. Firepower tipped the game. It destroyed. It was deleted. It deleted targets mercilessly. Uh, one damage. Oh, no, it's a brute here. So we'll use it whilst Ninth Edition lasts. Uh, it does reign supreme on the battlefield once again. That's the battle. Uh, Patreons at Silver Level, that's Gilliman's Golden Boy, Jason Martinez, Marcus Olsen, Ross, Ross Caldwell, William Schwarz, Zachary Lee, Zachary Lyons, Justin Haig. Uh, big thanks to them for their support at Silver Level. Great game. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.